Hello, hello. Ah, lovely stuff. Let's turn that back up to just smidge. Hopefully. Doesn't, 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 doesn't. Yep, I think it's good. Good, this hasn't moved too far. That's good. Uh, I might need to go up a little bit, actually. No, I think I'm okay. No, I don't like it down. Oh, dearie me. I don't even know what day it is at the moment. It's Monday. I believe it's Monday. And I got new digs. I got new. Uh, I got new graphics, which is lovely. We can all use the uh, the emotes command now. Uh, e so you can all see the different better TTV emotes I've got. I've got EU CMD in chat as well um, to see all the commands for today. But we're gonna chill out. We're gonna play some Arcade Paradise, and we're gonna have fun time. Last time, I'm going to do a little bit of an intro, because this is going to go up. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet, um, but this is going to go up on the YouTube. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of an intro, um, just to recap where we were. I think we were very close to um, getting our second layout upgrade. I think we just finished all of our arcade machine upgrades. I think we're just getting our second layout upgrade now. Which is cool. I hope everyone's have, having a good Monday. Uh, it's been okay for me. To be with you. It's been a bit weird, and I felt specifically fantastic today um, because of health things. But I'm doing good at the moment. Pop that on charge and also on silent as well, and then we'll uh, we'll dive into into the game. Go, gam. That's what we want. Lovely stuff. Right, let's just stop the music. There's also an exclamation mark music command if you wish to hear any more of the music. Um, because you can. Oh, there we go. Right, let's turn that all the way. I can just I can just edit this. It's fine. Yeah, that's alright. Um, yes, so there's exclamation mark music as well, because uh, I wanted to have a. Is this a yeah. I wanted to have a playlist for like metal music and also chill music that I could play during streams. Um, so I've got one, but I wanted like a nice sort of now playing um, text widget when we're when we're starting, like on the welcome and on the goodbye screen. Um, but there's no, I just there's a lot of hassle getting that getting that working and getting it sorted. And I have to sign up for lots of different bits and pieces. I'm just like, do you know, I don't know if I'm that bothered by it. Um, I think I'll just have a playlist. Now I can share the playlist, and then when I add stuff to it, if people can use it, they can do because it's all through Epidemic Sound, uh, which is all royalty free. So yeah, you can you can then use that basically. To a certain degree, anyway, you can use it to a certain degree. Obviously, if you use it for promotional projects or anything like that, you have to have a license for it, but otherwise it's free. If you want to listen to the songs on the playlist, you can do. So where were we? What had we done? What had we done? Um, where is my map? Yes, yes, we had just... Yes, I remember now. I recall, and we've got two grand in our pocket because we we emptied all the hoppers last thing at night, hadn't we? I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> okay. Right, let's do a super quick intro. We'll go to King Wash and we'll go. What's a good one? Yeah, if that is, that's fine. Do a super quick intro for part this part two, I suppose, and then see where we go from here. <clears throat> Hey everyone, welcome back to Arcade Paradise, and yeah, we're going to continue building up our arcade in the back of our father's laundromat. Uh, last time we played it, we played uh, until we got to almost the second layout upgrade, so we get to basically blow a hole in the wall and use a storage space that we didn't know we had, uh, and we scurried around like nutcases trying to get all of the hoppers empty for 2am, and we just walked home with like $2,000 in cash, so... Yeah, it's an interesting, uh, it's going to be an interesting time figuring out what we can do with all this money, but definitely the uh, layout upgrade, and then we're going to see what other uh, arcade machines we can purchase as well. So if you like this video, please like it. If you dislike it, there's a dislike button, and if you want to support the channel for free, you can subscribe. But without further ado, let's dive in. 
All right. Um, is my chat? Um, my chat's not. Um, did I hear we were using explosives? Yes, you did hear you were using explosives. I do not have my chat on my screen, unfortunately. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I can fix that actually. It's just boop, boop. This is a, a blooper you might not have otherwise seen. How are you doing, Sharon? It's lovely to see you, by the way. How's your Monday going, or has been? Um, let's go to streaming tools, overlays, overlays, chat. There we go. Because I changed the uh, layout, I've got a, a slightly different setup. So I just need this link. Hopefully, I just need this link. <laughs> I like that when I, I drag my cursor from screen to screen, you can see my guy's hand, my lady's hand just sort of snap through the PDA. <laughs> uh, game, browser source, chat. Uh, paste. Yep, paste that. Uh, paste. Thank you. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. There we go. Lovely stuff. So now we should see if I just pop this in. Nothing at all. <laughs> oh wait, is this? Have I muted stream elements? No. Maybe. No. No, it should be there. It definitely should be there. That's weird. Ah, there we go. There it is. Good, good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, get a really nice close-up of this person's hand as well. Uh, boop, boop. Just very quickly change my video setting. Go to exclusive full screen. How do you apply? Is there an apply button? Oh, there is an apply button. I, I made loads of changes to this last time. Come on. There we go. I made loads of changes to the settings last time when we were playing on Saturday. And I didn't update any of them because I didn't realize there was an apply button. Uh, why do we suddenly have hands? Well, it's an upgrade. <laughs> what is the volume level like? That's that's not bad volume level, I don't think. Right, what are we doing? Um, laundry. We didn't leave any laundry on last time, which is good. Oh, did I use this with mouse and keyboard? I don't think I used this with mouse and keyboard on Saturday. How bizarre. <laughs> How strange. I didn't. I didn't use this mouse and keyboard. This is going to be an experience for all of us. Right, so all that's on... What we need to do? What is crouch? What what be what be crouch? It's not that. It's definitely not that. That's the Windows key. That is. Yeah, mum. No, <laughs> don't tab. What's going on? I don't understand. Right, I can see it. Anyway, uh, settings. I'll just I'll just find out what the controls are. It's fine. Redefine controls. Crouch. Left control. Well, not for long, it's not. Replace. C. There we go. <laughs> Done. Because my keyboard's weird, because I use a Mac. There we go. So, we've got to pick up some trash. For anyone who doesn't know what this is, um, this is Arcade Paradise. The premise being... Hello, teleporting cousin. Um, the premise being, um, you are running a... Why do we have a llama? Oh, I'll show you. I'm glad someone asked. I'll show you what the llama button does. We are running our father's uh, laundromat. We play as... I can't remember the lady's name. Um, oh. You thought this was a 1990s but It's close. It's You're not far off. It is close. Um, I've never seen a human outside on the street. Wow. I just assumed we lived in a dystopia. Anyway. Um, bang on. I love it when you just chuck stuff. It turns everything into a mini game. It's brilliant. Uh, wait, do I need that? Oh, no, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Um, basically, we are running a or help to run a forgotten laundromat that our father owns, uh, and he's 
he doesn't know that we have started to outfit the back as an arcade so people when they come and do their laundry um they can play arcade machines there's some mundane job stuff that you need to do uh and then there's some mini games like you actually have to play the um arcade games and stuff like that to get certain bonuses and interaction bonuses that sort of thing oh there's a burger box there all of the bottles of conditioner and stuff like that they're normal they're not trash um, occasionally you'll get little mini games like this gum. Clean the gum off. <laughs> God, I might turn that off a bit. Some of the sound effects in this are brilliant. <laughs> People will need to let me know if that's mega too loud. Uh, uh, is the oh, there's gum in the toilet. Of course there is. Whoop, whoop. Winner. Got it. Is the toilet clean though? Toilet is clean. Lovely. It turns everything into a fantastic little mini game. Oh, it's slightly juddery. That was weird. Maybe it doesn't like the um, the speed at which my mouse goes. All of these only have about 26, 27 seconds left. So what I'm just going to quickly do is show you the back room, <laughs> which was a storeroom up until we played last time, and now it's an entire arcade uh, with loads of wild and wonderful games. Imagine getting paid 20 bucks for removing a piece of gum. I cannot believe how many people keep saying this. Let's play the, the world's most pointless mini game. Boop. There we go. So you can only spend cash that you've deposited. So we've deposited. Oh, the washing's done. Right. Uh, oh, no. Oh, how do I quit? I need, I need to stop a second. I need my controller. I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this with mouse and keyboard. I'm too much of a pleb. I can't do it. Sorry. I just, I can't do it. I need my controller. I need my buttons, man. I need my buttons. Listen, listen to me. I need my buttons. I need my ASMR buttons. Come on. You can, I believe. Oh, it does just sync up. Fantastic. Right. Excellent. Oh, there's more trash in here as well, but we'll sort that out in a second. Basically, we've got three lots of washing done. Um, so we need to. Llama, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Sharian. Llama. To do. Remember Llama. Uh, let's just open this. I'm also going to just pop my other... The cat's not been sick today, so I need to... I'm just going to pop my other um, earphone in. Yeah. So I don't need to listen out for him. Oh, that's much more immersive. Right, so we've got glittery laundry here. I'm just going to pop that in here. And then... Ah! Come on. Do that. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Go to the dryer. Throw that in. Right, llama. Got it. Is this one nearly done, though? That one's got 14 seconds. I can show you llama quickly. Right. The llama is basically a Internet Explorer minigame. Or Google minigame. That's it. That's all we got. <laughs> That's what it is. Buckle in, folks. This is the rest of the stream. Because time freezes when you've got your PDA open. Oh, high score. One, one nice egg. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's not quite as good as we were doing in the back rooms, but not not terrible. Right, where is that? So this has five seconds left. We can also check our watch, our delicious Casio watch as well. Uh, there we go. Which, helpfully lets us know when the washing is done. I kind of wish my watch would do that. Mine is an actual smart watch and mine doesn't do that. I'd love I'd love that level of um, uh, notification in my life. Right, so we've cleaned up it all in here. Everything's nice and clean. Oh, I'll tell you what we haven't done. Let's have a quick look at our to-do list today. So we get bonuses. Uh, so you can see two currencies in the top right. We've got dollars and pounds. Dollars are for the income of the arcade and laundromat. Pounds are for bonuses. I don't need that notification. I, I always forget about laundry. Always. I always forget about most stuff, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, so we get dollars for the income from the laundromat and pounds for bonuses. So the to-do list is we've got to complete two songs in Cyberdance Euromix. And we get 20 quid for that. Complete seven loads of laundry. Well on the way to that. And put in the hours in Stack Overflow, not the website, and play for 10 minutes. And those can be used, that pound sterling can be used to buy upgrades for your character. Which we have none of yet. So, pick up all this trash. 
These people are fucking animals. Any more? Oh, there's a can. Oh, my bag is the bag's full. Curses. We've even got a jukebox with some absolute classic tunes on it. Like, dance tunes you've never heard of. Not actual real dance tunes, but dance tunes you've never heard of. That still says E, though. That's unfortunate. Chocolate so clock when I finish loading the laundry in that two hours. <laughs> I do. I need. I have my little. Um, I've got my, my comfort magic up, but I've got my little timer, my little time cube that I put on for that. I gotta be careful, it's got a mercury switch in it, so it's constantly like, oh, you've dipped me very slightly, I'm gonna start beeping at you incessantly in 15 minutes. That is, that cube's the reason I'm as uh, productive as I am sometimes. <laughs> Especially at work, good lord. I don't know what I do without that, or something similar. Right, any more rubbish? There was a there was a can on the floor here, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. These old arcade carpets, man. I'm telling you, they were made like this for a reason. So you couldn't see any of the trash. Right. So you're probably wondering what games we've got, and that's a fair question. But I'm gonna see what what's that to do this time? Two songs in Cyberdance Revolution. How long have we got left on the laundry? We've got one minute and two minutes twenty. We'll we'll pop this in the dryer in a second because by that point most of these will be done. Because we still gotta do a laundry. We're not we're not you know away from it. There we go. Because we did that so fast, we got an S ranking. Which if you watch the stream on Saturday, I was horrific at getting S rankings, even though on console when I'm playing this as well shows how much I like it. Um, I'm getting I'm getting pretty consistent uh, S rankings. And I'm, the, I'm probably one of the few people I know, like, because of the way my brain works, that would go, Oh, you only got an A, you failure. <laughs> C? <laughs> How was that a, a bad rank? I don't, that went straight in the laundry, straight in the dryer. I don't understand that at all. No, this is fixed, I'm telling you. This is 100% fixed. I'm aware. Watch. I'm on it. Oh, so what did we order at the weekend? Talk to me, people. I want to know what you ordered at the weekend. Did anybody go anywhere? Did anybody do anything? Did you maybe go for a walk anywhere nice? Did you maybe eat any nice food? I want to live vicariously through you. Because I, I just went retro game shopping. I don't know that one. I went retro game shopping. Um which if you are on Discord, you've seen the photo of that. I haven't shown you what I bought, but you've seen the photo of the absolute state of retro gaming at the moment. Um, right. Oh, air hockey is broken. Oh, we, we get to um, fix software bugs. Look at this. crucified. Literally bug busting. You got very drunk and lost a Pokeball. You lost a Pokeball? <laughs> We're gonna play some DDR, because I, I was mad keen on DDR as a kid. I mean, I still am, but press L to play. I love rhythm action games. There's some of them. I know the washing's done, it can wait for a minute. Oh, apparently it can't. No, I've fucked it. This, it's, it's perfect or nothing. That's my problem. That's my problem, just ask my therapist. Washing's done, this washing's done. You got very drunk and lost That's fair enough. I'm in, I've got more questions than answers uh, at this point. Gaming and laundry, Sherry, what, um, uh, what did you play? I like to game vicariously with people as well. Because that's how I get most of my good recommendations, to be honest with you, is people saying, this game's really good. Right. And there's normally three bits of gum sticking around somewhere, no pun intended. And I've only found two of them, so it makes me wonder where the third one is. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Just random amounts of money for picking up gum. Trails and Trevery and Front Machine. Ooh. Right, let's try a different one.
This is a classic. <laughs> oh, I missed it. No, curses. I got distracted by my watch. <laughs> this is like real life. You get distracted by chores when I want to play video games. <laughs> be good at games or I can have rhythm. <laughs> I don't have rhythm. <laughs> and I'm not good at games. So <laughs> there we go. Oh no, it's not finished. I thought it finished. Curses. This song. You should. You certainly get your money's worth, don't you? That washing's gonna be so smelly. The character's got amazing rhythm in the background. Is that it? That needs to be it. I got I got stuff to do. It's not. <laughs> I know. I I'm aware. Watch. Right, there we go. To do list complete. What is what was the to do list item? Complete two songs. How have I completed two songs? I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask too many questions. Uh, I've I've done it. It's fine. <laughs> I've got that money in my pocket. Right. Let's get this stinky washing out. We're not getting a high score. We're 100% not getting high score for this. <laughs> I can guarantee it. Ding, ding. Wish I could change the music sometimes. <laughs> uh, the drying's done as well. Right, Greeny Green, uh, you've been suspiciously quiet. Uh, I need to know about this Pokeball. Mysterious, I know you're an international man of mystery, but the mysterious facade starts to peel away very slightly when you say something so leading, like, I lost a Pokeball. <laughs> I, I know, C's still a good rank. I mean, it's better than all my GCSEs. So, it's not even a joke. Genuinely not even a joke. Right, okay, what else have we got to do today? Fans just garden party. I went as a Team Rocket grunt. Photos or it didn't happen. <laughs> and don't give me this, they're on Facebook, Malarkey. Right? Get them on Discord. Get them on the Discord. Do seven loads of laundry. Put in the hours by stack over of ten minutes. But it's so boring. Right, what's a what's a good game to play? Let's play this is such an intriguing game. This is such a weird and intriguing game. Um race actually, what bonuses have we got to do? For them. We've got uh, bonuses for the different machines. So, quick rundown. All the machines we have direct uh, management of, so all of them basically, um, we have certain challenges to increase their popularity. So, for example, on the Dance Dance Revolution clone, we have get a combo of 75 and hit 500 perfect beats. So we've done get a combo of 75, which increases its popularity. If it's more popular, then it, uh, it earns more money. Um, and the more we play it as well, it means it earns more money. Why is there no leaderboard? Global high school leaderboard. Well, fair enough. Uh, yeah, so it earns more money. So at the minute, it's got a um, income per hour of $4.27. If I were to change some of the settings, like the difficulty or the price, that sort of thing. That's still going to be the probably the best price we're going to get. Yeah. Uh, $4.27. But you can see there it's goal bonus. Adds an extra 10, so 10 cents or whatever, onto its, um, onto its uh, income. 
so we can increase our profitability which is the bottom line people um in some of these so jukebox why is the jukebox got thing oh we've got listen to so many songs that's what we've got what songs have we got i think we only have one oh no we've got a couple Well, that's horrific. Oh my god, my ears. <laughs> Jeez, I'm awake now. Ooh, this has got strong Hotline Miami vibes. Bit of wipe out for you. Not bad. Ooh, that one's nice. We have quite a few. Absolute banger. Right, well, let's not play any at the minute <laughs> they're all they're all just that side of annoying i think that's the, that's the problem unless we go into like mega overdrive mode later and we listen to that absolute classic absolute headbanger um yeah. checking none of my stuff would fall off my shelf my cat was on my shelf earlier so the stuff i bought when i was retro game hunting is just piled on the shelf near me and i'm just like he stood on that and i'm not 100 percent sure if it's going to fall off what else have we got to do? Do seven loads of laundry. We're nearly done. I'm just waiting for this. There we go. Good, good. And then we can go check out what... Um, how much money How much money have we got? £80. We can go check out the um, thingy. So the to-do list item is done. Oh, wait. What else is nearly done? Oh, that laundry's done. Got it. <laughs> well, I played a bit of this this weekend. Um, what else did I do this weekend? I, I did some DIY. I went retro game shopping. And that's pretty much it. So, I say I did DIY. I assisted with DIY. I'm a great assistant. Oh, it's not. It's not dry. It needs to go in the lawn in the dryer. <laughs> I just tried to fold wet clothes. I don't think I've ever done in real life. I gotta be honest. That's also finished. Good. And then we'll see if we have any more surprise laundry. No, nope. what time of day is it? Oh, it's half past ten at night. That's fine. We're not going to get any more now. Hello, Infinity. How are you? Absolutely wonderful to have you. We're just talking about what we were doing this weekend. Did you get up to anything nice this weekend? Is the toilet clean? That's a very important question. Yes, the toilet is clean. Cool. So... What other goals have we got? Blockchain's not a bad shout. The, it's a bit of a puzzle game. King Fury's a fun game to play. Get a score of over 2,500. Oh, 25,000, sorry. Get a chain hit of 30. Defeat 1,000 grunts. I don't know. I mean, we could try for a chain, chain hit of 30 on this one. I love the fact that when I go, that it's literally booting the game up. <laughs> oh, the business is closing. Okay. Well, we'll play a, a couple of seconds of this. Yep. Go. I don't know if there's a way of actually moving without trying to attack. Oh, I just wait. That's what I do. I don't I don't have to move. It's also like a rhythm action game, but with fists. Oh, I got a better combo then, though. Ow, don't you get countered? The music on this is super low. Like, real low. Oh, I died because I looked over. Right, well, the business is closing now, so we need to go... What time of day is it? It is 10 to 12. There's trash there. I didn't even pick it up earlier. How long have these got? 1 minute 30 and 1 minute 13. So let's go empty the hoppers of all of our machines. 
$24 on that one. Ooh, $65 on that. That's probably earned a little bit more money because it's so popular. $27 on that one. $80 on the mystery machine. It's probably because I've played it so bloody much. We played this one here quite a lot as well. 62. Yes. I'm getting back into the swing of it now. I'm getting back into the swing of it. We have maxed out our air hockey. That's just it was bound to happen, but we've maxed out all of the profitability of our air hockey. So that's nine hundred and ninety-four dollars. Today I'm not over the money, so you can actually see how much money I've got. You did nothing special for the weekend. How about you all? Well, I know some people dressed up as Team Rocket thugs and got very drunk, uh, which is a lifestyle I aspire to, I've got to be honest. Um, I personally... Oh my god, we have to dial into the internet. I forgot about this. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I've not placed the money in the safe, have I? Today's money in the safe. I've also not purchased the bloody upgrade that I needed to. I went retro game shopping. Um, did the spot of DIY, and that's pretty much it. I, I have a very boring weekend, which is a nice, a nice to have, to be honest with you. There are picks up, are there? Excellent stuff. I'll have a look at those after. Um, anyone who's not on the Discord, uh, wabam, you can join the Peripheral Mic Lounge. Um, let's upgrade this jammers. Shop fitter, that's what we want. Oh, it's $2,000. Well, we've got it, so order it. Uh, and then upgrades. Yeah, you can have a look at Green Green's um, cosplay pictures from uh, their fancy dress party when they went to uh, dressed as a Team Rocket grunt. That's the word. <laughs> what have we got? So we've got £100. What time is it? 1 o'clock in the morning? Is that right? Oh, yeah, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. I just tried to check my watch and my character's eyes sort of went, oh, they sort of started blinking a bit. So that means they're mega tired. Um, durable recycling bag. Carry twice as much in the bag. Oh, sprint. <laughs> no, no guarantee of increase in athletic ability. Most users report a marginal increase in dawdle speed. That's why. That's a. That's why I uh, aspire for. Uh, unlock peefy. 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 Pop my teeth back in and my tongue in place. Um, teach yourself how to properly use a PC with this must-have guidebook and learn to unlock PC features such as games, a music player, and more. I might get that. To be honest, that might be pretty funny. Uh, not only will you look great, but you'll also be able to see stuff, see yourself looking great with these trendy specs. Maybe I need new ones because I can't read. Apparently, uh, you'll be able to see further by clicking the right stick and more easily spot items such as trash and more easily spot items such as trash, like. It, like, glows, maybe? Assistant manager's assistant. Yo, dude, you should totally employ me to work at your arcade. I love games. I'll do anything, even if it's just collect cash from the hoppers and put it in the safe. So you don't have to. I'll be so good, dude. You won't even know I'm there. Please. No, that's not... I think someone who can pick up trash for me would be good. Uh, do you have a, <laughs> a beginner's guide to space and time? Do you ever feel like life is passing you by too quickly? Study the work of renowned metaphysics professor Gordon J. Bell and learn to manipulate space and time itself. You'll feel like the passage of time has slowed down, meaning you can feel like you've been playing video games all day when in actual fact only a few minutes have passed. Interesting. So that slows down game time, presumably, and the electrical engineer's handbook. Uh, this excellent book will teach you how to teach you to be better at fixing anything electronic. Machines will break down much less frequently, so you can focus on important things. To be fair, they've only broken twice. In the, uh, like seven or eight hours we've been playing this, it's only broken twice. What was I going to buy? The Idiot's Guide to Computing. Idiot's Guide to Computing. You bought your first upgrade. Some upgrades can be toggled on and off. You can do this from your PDA. You found extra shortcuts on your computer. <laughs> what? Oh, I have found extra shortcuts on my computer. <laughs> Suddenly, I got a video player. What's the video player? What? Oh, it's just a movie player from... That's really loud. Enter a gaming paradise where there's zero sun and maximum fun! Or, or <laughs> arcade paradise! We've got over 35 awesome arcade hits hungry for your quarters! Experience skull-shaking extreme stereo sound! Get your face melted by insane graphics! Wow, they're so real! 
Smash your rivals, dominate the high score table, and become a legend! You won't play games that look this good at home until 2021! So don't be a dweeb. Is that our phone ringing? Hello. Please leave your message after the tone. Ashley, hello. What is? I approved your proposal to convert the utility room and extend the King Laundry trading area. More space, more washing machines. It's a little obvious, but fine. Hopefully by now you appreciate the Laundry's vital role in the community. And the modest but steady income. Oh, this is an announcement for the game. Is a sure path to Got it. <laughs> Just don't do anything stupid. Brilliant. Uh, what's the live action bit? God, that's that's low, isn't it? Watch out for the hardest game of the year. On CD, no less. I mean, those are pretty decent dance moves, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Who amongst us hasn't done that at least once in their life? I mean, come on. I've never done that though, I gotta be honest. I've never eaten a, fl eaten a floppy disk? No, I've never eaten a CD. <laughs> That's how phones work, 100%. There's there's lots of little bits of string going to a satellite in space. <laughs> What's the TV show? Struggling to get your whites clean? It's a flavor explosion. Enter a gaming paradise where there's zero sun and maximum fun. Ar Ar arcade paradise. We've got over 35 awesome arcade hits hungry for Oh man, quarters. if I hadn't already done a channel trailer. <laughs> Knuckles and knees. Zombat 2. Wooddale's Adventure. Lost Dog 2093. Rabbit Chase. And the bodacious race and chase in full 3D. <laughs> your face melted by insane graphics. Wow, they're so real. Experience skull shaking extreme stereo sound. Uh, those are those are a wild ride. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> well, we've got games on this. We've got Solitaire and Minesweeper classics, and Gallery. Oh, these are just different adverts for the games. Oh, I kind of wish I had some of these. I'm not gonna lie. Music player. So there's no like hidden. Well, I don't know about anything hidden in this at the minute. Oh, uh, you have clean clothes. There. Oh, okay, thanks. I was joking with my wife that I needed a pop-up like that. Uh, yep, cool. Let's just go these clothes. Those, those were pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. They were very cool. Oh, part of me, part of me really wants to remake a channel trailer in that style now. <laughs> like proper grainy VHS 90s. So I think you'd find a blockbuster. Um, right, what time of day is it? It's 1.21. So, oh, I thought someone had graffiti on the wall, on the window then. Uh, have we done everything? We emptied the hoppers. The stuff's in the... Oh, well, I need to just see if I can buy... A... Oh, no, we haven't got any space for arcade machines at the minute. So, that's it. That's us for the day. And in the... Some hours we're not going to be here. Press it A to leave. Thank you. Uh, in the some hours... Those are very late buses that we're not going to be here. The place is going to get filled up with trash. Absolutely chocker with trash. Excellent. So, so the arcade's raking it in. Well, I bet you I weren't. I myself, thought I could waltz into any job. When I met your mother, I didn't have a dime to my name. Her friends had cars and jewelry and rich fiancés. She never desired those things, but it was nonetheless humiliating. Oh, well, that explains a lot. That explains why he's so money motivated. I heard about the new extension. Apparently things are heating up in Brightstone. I'm pleased you're taking this seriously. As a reward, we'll no longer be keeping... Just keep it tight. I'm sure I can trust you to do that much. I'd be honest, I didn't know you were keeping tabs in the first place. How were you keeping tabs? 
Trash, 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 trash. We are a trash snuffling pig. Come on. Oh, the bag's full. Curses. Alright, I won't lie. Being able to sprint would be quite cool for this bit, but I can't see a good use for it any other time. Radical. Radical. As if that's only an A. That was a flawless throw. I think... There's a there's a bigger disparity from when I play this on consoles to when I play this in, in PC. And I genuinely think that the margin for error is larger on uh, PC. Like, I think the... the um, Sorry, the forgiveness is larger on console than it is on PC. Right, so that's all the... Oh, gum. Of course, gum. Oz always gum. There we go. Oh, and the bag's full as well. Try and get it. Oh, near maximum. I'm only a couple of pixels off. Rank S. There we are. That's better. Give me my precious 10 extra dollars. Um, out of the way, Pixelman. Uh, nope, no gum here. No gum here. These are all the normal spots where there's gum. Oh, laundry. Can't let the laundry slip. Cannot let the laundry... Oh, nope. <laughs> I stopped pressing A. <laughs> Cannot let the laundry slip. Oh, gum. Uh, I've got mail. Like, mail. Or like, email. Oh, that was rubbish. There we go. Is there any in here? No, the toilet is clean. Good. Should always have a clean toilet. I always aspire to have a clean toilet. And now into the arcade. And now, oh my god. We've got tons of room now. Look at all this space for activities. This <laughs> one person just leaving a bottle right in the middle of the floor. Cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, the trash is pretty hard to see on this carpet now. Uh, I'm literally just having to crawl around the carpet. No, I don't want to into the hopper, thanks. Uh, that leads to the office. What's there? Ah, there it is, the third piece of gum. The elusive third gummy bit. Wish I always paid that much just to pick up gum. There we go. Any more? Oh, no more laundry in a minute. Wow, weird. What's our to-do list today? Defeat 50 enemies with a sniper rifle in one game of Zombat 2. It's never going to happen. Uh, get an S rank laundry. Three S rank laundry unloads, definitely. And collect $4,000 in Racer Chaser. We can 100% do that. I mean, we're definitely not going to do that right now because we've only got 16 seconds left and this this determines our rank in this. So we're just going to stand here and just be cool. We're just going to be cool, people. We're just going to be cool. <laughs> Come on, get the, get the laundry, quick. In the dryer. Da -da -da -da. Oh, for anyone who's wondering as well, I think, oh, I'm not certain now because my chat wasn't up earlier. I think I've got new notifications uh, at the bottom of the screen that are also text to speech as well. So, on you know, do with that information what you will. But uh, things like um, tips, cheers, uh, cheers for bits, uh, follows, subscriptions, and raids are all text to speech now. Because I just I just fancied it, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of um, uh, Twitch stream clips on, uh, is that rubbish? On TikTok, and it has uh, inspired me. So if anybody's watching who's not a follower and you wish to follow, it will say your name. Or it will attempt to say your name, anyway. Right, um, so $4,000 in Race Chaser. We can do this. This Grand Theft Auto Pac-Man clone. This will be, I'd say, dead easy. It's not going to be dead easy at all. Oh, no, it's not going to be. Run. Fortunately, we get a second life. Well, we get multiple lives, depending on how fast we can run. Quickly, get to the extra car we keep. No, go away. There we go. Oh, give over. This is not, this is not going well. I'm just going to exit this. It's not going as well as I'd want. Ooh, nice uh, neon art on the wall. I'm a fan of that. 
Nope, oh, that's also finished. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Ba -da -ba -da. Right, so that's sorted, that's sorted. That's still got a minute left. What was the to-do list? Uh, three S rank laundry unloads, so we have to get that right. Um, and collect money in Race Chaser. Uh, nope, that's Stack Overflow, Race Chaser. Yum. This will help. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Turn me into a tank so I can squash cop cars. Uh, so that's 2,000, so that was pretty easy. Now we just need some more. Let's avoid that. It's actually easier to play this on the minimap than it is on the... Um, oh, I don't need to collect it all at once, then. I just need to... Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I just need to collect it in total, so that's more uh, upgrade money for us. Oh, more laundry. It'd be interesting to know the um, mechanics. I keep leaving on my microphone. On my microphone. On my headphones. Um, yeah, it's Pac-Man. It's, ex it's exactly like Pac-Man. Oh, 10 seconds. <gasps> We're going to be playing more of the uh, thingies, not more of the mini-games. More of the arcade games, once we've got some more laundry on the go. But we can't ignore the laundry today, because we need to get three S-rank laundry loads. I keep hearing this bumping, and I keep wondering what it is, and I keep forgetting it's my neighbor's kids. <laughs> Constantly. They're, I think they're like practicing to be wrestlers or something. Let's go and... When, when I'm not going to do the Zombat 2. I'll play Zombat 2 so people can see it. But basically, I know I, I don't try multiplayer on this. Uh, we'll play Zombat 2. It's essentially a, a top-down twin stick shooter. We all practice to be wrestlers though at some point. This is true. I'm not going to lie. I mean, my favorite wrestler was The Undertaker for a bloody good reason. Um, but uh, yeah, we've we've all definitely practiced that. <laughs> This music sounds eerily familiar, like the intro music to the stream. <laughs> Can I get in this car? No, I can't. So you just basically run around, twin stick shooter style, um, and just try and kill zombies, essentially. Oh, Sherry, you've... I would say you've not lived, but you've probably got slightly less injuries. Um, I, think most, I think a lot of people have pretended to be wrestlers or practiced wrestling at some point. Ah! So this is Zombat 2. I don't think... We have to gather coins from the zombies in order to buy upgrades. And I'm pretty certain the sniper rifle is going to be hell expensive. Let's go have a look at the shop. The sniper rifle is 150 coins. We have 19 at the minute. We're not... We're not doing this. We play King Fury. The washing is done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no, I didn't... I pressed the wrong button. Oh, wrestling isn't really a thing to do. Oh, that's fair enough. I have not, man, I have not watched wrestling in so long. Like, so, so long. Oh, that rotting's dry. Oh god, please be an S rank. I feel like this this judges the rest of my gameplay. No, it's only an A. Right, I'm just staying here <laughs> until we get this done. I'm just staying here. This is this has only got thirty seconds left. It's it's dead early in the afternoon. It's fine. All oh, the time does pass really quickly when you play one of those mini games. Like it's really weird. Remind you, I have trained martial arts jujitsu since I was like seven, I think. Though I stopped at some point in my life. Wow, that's cool. I've only done one martial art in my life. I was going to do kendo for a while. Um, I just didn't like it. I liked it, but I didn't have the the willpower back then at all. Um, or the drive, I suppose. But I did uh, Tetsudo, which is a form of martial arts as well. That was cool. I just couldn't do it anymore. I just I, I found it, um, weirdly, a bit too competitive, but also a bit too boring. Like, I just didn't I didn't gain a lot from it. It helped me to realize that I wanted to get more in shape, though, and helped me realize that I... It helped me refine that I wanted to get into strongman training, which was good. One forty and one thirty. Right, we can we can definitely take a break for this for a second while I show you some of the other games. We have Blockchain, which is a puzzle-based game based on numbers. So, uh, we've got... 
um, stacks, so columns and rows of numbers. And if the number that you're dropping is contained within that column or row, then it will disappear. So for example, if I drop this four in a row of four, it will vanish. If I drop this seven in a row of four, it will not. If I drop this five in a row of five, to make a row of five, it will get rid of both fives. And similarly on columns, if we do a column on top of this seven and this hidden one, it will get rid of the three. But you have to um, get rid of numbers next to those uh, blocked columns in order to proceed with those ones. Uh, UFO assault is a bit like um, reverse space invaders, I think someone said. We you just have to destroy buildings. Quite boring, not gonna lie. Um, you, occasionally you get one or two challenges that are quite difficult. Uh, like get rid of all the buildings in like so many lines or get so many points in this game, that sort of thing. But that's what you see is what you get with that. Dance Dance Revolution we've already done. I'm gonna go check on the laundry because I think one minute is nearly up. One minute is up. <laughs> we have 11 seconds left before our laundry is done and we have 18 seconds left before our drying is done. Oh, there's more here. No, I shouldn't have picked that up. Oh, I should not have picked that up. Come on. There we go. Whew. Thank God. Thank God. I'm just like, ooh, a task that will take me some time. I'll just pick this up. Yike. Right, this has this is over. Let's get this out. Now, quick. Go, go, go. Chop, chop, chop. Nyom. Yeah. Right, there's our first one. Good. Right, how long have we got? 30 seconds. We're waiting for it. Look at the weird pixelated effect when you approach people. Oh, wait. Is it just when I... Oh, no. They're just leaving. Okay. But when I approach people, they just turn into, like, massive pixels. Their Minecraft shade is kicking. Whoop. 10 seconds. What are we listening to? Like, is this a radio station that, I've, that we've got on? <laughs> people just aren't real. Yeah, people are just a figment of my imagination. To do this item complete. Yay. Now we don't need to give a rat's ass about the rest of it. Cool. Let's put some music on. There we go. We can turn that down very slightly. There we are. Right, so we've got more upgrades that we can get. I think. How much have we got? We've got 60. We don't. Oh, no, I can get the glasses. Let's get the glasses. The glasses are like to zoom in where present are. Like, every oh, yeah, everywhere. Wow, cool. <laughs> That's how zooming works. You just sort of, you just go like that. It's also known as a squint. There we go. Let's go on something not quite as techno -y. So does this let me see trash better? Have I missed any trash? No, it does not let me see trash better. It just lets me zoom in. I thought there'd be like a thing. Oh, my. Oh, no, my bin's not full. I thought there'd be like a weird outline around the trash. That's unfortunate. But what have I not showed you? Air hockey. Pfft, that's, that's not how you play air hockey. That's also not how you play air hockey. But it is, it is what it looks like. It's exactly air hockey. Cool. Uh, we've got Wood Gals Adventure, which is pretty decent. So basically you... Um, oh, the music in Wood Gals Adventure is actually quite nice. So I'm just going to stop this. And go back onto Wood Gals Adventure. There we go. Insert coin. Uh, basically, you have to go uh, to you have to deliver a cake to a princess. But it's a puzzle game, right? So you have to gain stars of certain colors. Um, I'll sort that in a second. Uh, in order to progress, we've got fourteen red stars, five gold stars, and four yellow stars. Um, but you gain them by encountering monsters, and you beat the monsters by solving puzzles, which is cool. That's the general idea of that one. I'll get to the others in a second. I'm just going to sort some laundry out. 
because I know there are some people in chat now that probably weren't in chat on Saturday, so I'm going to give you a quick overview and then we're going to absolutely smash it over the next couple of hours. Oh, I'm using, I'm using a bottom one. Oh no. What's going on here? That's crazy. Is that finished? That's finished. Ooh. Stretch my legs out. <sighs> da, da, da. That's fine. I'm okay with that. What time of day is it? It is half past nine. I don't think we get any more laundry after 9 p.m., which is good. So that's got like two and a half minutes. That's got like three minutes left. So that's fine. We're fine for the rest of the in-game day now. Strike gold is basically Dig Dug. If you know play Dig Dug, you're about to see it. Well, it's a version of it anyway. It's not quite the same, but you dig down um, and you avoid falling blocks. But you also have to gather a uh, thingy. Um, oxygen and gold. Which is quite cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, I quite like uh, uh, this one. I mean, I die quite a lot, but I like it. Uh, stack overflow, which is always a brilliant one. We had to get a um, achievement. Well, I say achievement. We had to get a, um, a challenge point to increase his popularity where well, we had to get fired like 13 times so we just had to sit here and listen to this music on Saturday for ages which was a lot more entertaining than it might sound to be honest with you but you just take boxes and you stack them and it's interesting that they've put quite so much effort into this to be honest with you all of these games have like their own little self-contained they are their own little self-contained mini games we've got racer chaser uh, what time of day is it it's 11 o'clock that's fine we've seen UFO assault this one's super weird this one's called Empathy, and this is one of those machines that you used to, like, hold the handles of um, in arcade machines, and it used to, like, shock you. Frost digging, have you played Galactic Mining Corp? No, I haven't. Uh, grasp handles to begin. And you just have to control this person. That's it. You just got to control them by clicking buttons and making steps. And then occasionally a cloud of symbols will try and shoot you, and you'll have this existential crisis as you go on. Yeah, I have not played Galactic Mining Corp. What is it? What is Galactic Mining Corp? Tell me. Give me. Can you give me a synopsis? I felt that. And then, basically, if you just let go, this person will die. Maybe I was incorrect. And it's weird. It's just weird. And finally, we've got Space Racer, which is F-Zero. F-Zero meets Outrun. It's more Outrun, really, I'll be honest with you. Go. Outrun in space, and it just makes me realize how boring driving games are. Like racing games, specifically. I think the only racing games... Does anybody have... Is anybody a fan of racing games? Like, I'm interested to know, are there, like, more accessible racing games? Because I've played... Oh, I've got the drawings done. I remember playing... And I've got it over there, because it's a classic. I've got Gran Turismo, which is brilliant, right? But I, I don't really recall... Can I not take this out? Is this not a thing? There we go. I hate these lower ones. Um, yeah, does anybody have like a favourite racing game? Because racing games have never, ever struck a chord with me. Um, and it's one of the things I don't know if I care to try. I used to like Road Rash as a kid. Uh, Ridge Racer Type 4 and Gran Turismo are probably the only racing games I've ever played. But I'm, I never really look at them. Uh, what time of day is it? It is half past 12. How long has that got left? That's not getting finished. Okay, that's going to get finished tomorrow. So that's all the games we've got at the minute. But that being said, we are going to go on to upgrades. Uh, not upgrades. Oh, uh, we've got DLC for this because I got this on GOG. I'm currently in the process of becoming an affiliate with GOG. So I'll be able to use the game commands to give you an, an affiliate link if you want to play this. And then I'll get a nice little kickback. Oh, I've got an email as well. I forgot about the email. Arcade Mania, I thought, hi Ashley, I thought I'd uh, reach out since I noticed your business seems to be growing. Now that you have more space, I thought it was worth letting you know we have a bunch more cabs in stock. Um, a quick pro tip, did you also know the more you play a game, the more popular, yeah, we know that. Uh, I also thought it would be worth mentioning that we, that now you have a jukebox, you can buy more music from Disc Jammers. Uh, unfortunately, they only take pounds sterling, so it might have to be, uh, do some chores to save up. How does Ben from Arcade Mania Manager know about me earning um, pounds sterling in chores from chores? Is Ben on? Is, is Ben like keeping tabs on us? 
Oh, I'm, I can write a response. This is like ChatGPT. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Great stuff. Oh, I just sent it. Great stuff on the new machines. I hope to channels have some awesome tracks. I've heard on the radio. Excellent. Well, let's have a quick look at this channel. Uh, how much do these cost? £25. Oh, so these are like realistic vinyl prices. Or unrealistic vinyl prices, I should say. Wow, yeah. Okay, cool. We're not getting those. So we've got Arcade Mania, which are all of the... I might have to get that noise as a sound bite, uh, which are all of the um, standard game uh, machines, right? Which we're definitely going to get some of. But we've also got arcade imports, which are the DLC, which only cost $100 each, right? Which are brilliant. So we're going to get a pinball machine if we can fit it. Oh, you don't have enough space for time. Progress further in the game, be able to push DLC cabs curses can we get any more summer of sports yes we can get summer of sports fantastic um penguin push smokem and roger uh i will leave those for now because i haven't looked at these ones Whoa, championship darts these are well expensive line terror line terror the spendoxal dongfar <laughs> excuse me the Spendoxal Dongfar have threatened the very fabric of reality. Use your skills as a Quantopenium Pilo what? Pilot to restore reality uh, and face the ultimate line terror for up to four players. The hell? Attack vector. Shoot down enemy attack choppers in amazing wireframe vector graphics. That sounds pretty cool. Um, Woodgal Jr. introducing it. Yep, cool. Woodgal Jr. introducing a new... I'm sorry, hang on a second. So... Oh, no, have we just found an exploit? I think we've just found an exploit. It's 12.45, right? And time hasn't moved while we've been using this PC, but the drying's done. <laughs> Unless when we come off of this, it's suddenly like, no, 12.46. <gasps> they probably need, they probably want to patch that. Um, where were we? Attack Vector, Woodgow Jr. Introducing new Femme Fatale, The Gaming World. The Amazing Woodgow Jr. offers a fun of Woodguy Jr. with even better graphics. Cool. And Cyberdance. State-of-the-art 3D technology and an amazing high-fidelity audio meet in this blockbuster dancing game for one or two players. Oh, I really want that, but it's so expensive. Let's go with the cheapest one, because I'm poor. Um, let's go with... Vector Attack. Vector Attack sounds pretty decent, actually. And is there any other arcade imports that we can get? Sold, sold, sold. Ordered. Can't get the pinball yet. Can we get that? No. Can we get this? No. Can we get this? No. Curses. Right, so that's us. That's everything so far. Um, no more upgrades because we're going to have more pounds sterling. That's fine. Let's leave this because apparently we've figured out time travel. I've not emptied the hoppers today, which is dumb. Uh, I'm probably going to quickly do that now. I need I need people to remind me to do shit. <laughs> no, not play the game, dumb eye. Uh, <laughs> missing chat as well. Sorry, sorry. Um, it's a windy beard game from a while back. Uh, basically, you have to drill drill down planets and gather resources. Uh, then you use them. Use those to upgrade your corporation and hire more helpers. I think it's a sequel to Geo. Excellent. I'll keep an eye on that. I'll keep an eye out for it. What was it called again? Uh, it was... Oh, I can't. Can you tell me the name again, please? <laughs> oh, Galactic Mining Core. That was it. Oh, no. Someone has sent me a link for that. I'm certain someone sent me a link for that. I'm certain it's on a list somewhere. It might be on my GOG wish list. Or my Steam wish list. I can't remember which. On our wish list, because I remember thinking it would be quite good, and then promptly never playing it, because that's how my brain works. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's late. It's late. What time is it actually? One forty-three. Run, run. Yeah, it probably was Saber actually. Run. Put this in here. Quick. I feel like I'm cracking into this safe. Good. We've planted a lot of money. Ah, I'm stuck. I don't think I emptied the thing, did I? Now, if I've got washing in my hands when the timer runs out, is that going to stop me from putting it on the deck? I'm really tempted to find out. 
No, it's not. Good. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone. Right, so it's now 2 a.m. I've never stayed long enough to have my person pass out. Um, but and I, I'm not going to. I'm just not going to. I'm glad tiredness and fatigue isn't a thing in this game. I wish it was like that in real life. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just grabbing something that I bought on the weekend and I wanted to show it off. I'm going to put that there. Did I buy something else as well? Yeah, I did. So I found something quite rare in um, a shop in our town centre. Uh, which is going to go very nicely on my Super NT from... Um, is that the only thing I bought? Yeah. My Super NT from Analog. And it is this. If I put myself on... Can I put myself on big screen a second? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do that. <laughs> Scenes. Big face. I got this. <laughs> Come on, camera. You're better than this. Ooh, ooh. A Super Game Boy, which is something I've not seen in a very, very, very long time. However, I already have um, a Super NT. So I've got something for this to plug into, which means, ladies and uh, gentlemen at home of the jury, I am one step closer to playing the original Pokemon games on stream. <laughs> it is a Game Boy cartridge for the... It's a Game Boy cartridge for the SNES. That's the beauty of it. So it goes into a SNES like that, and the Game Boy game goes in here, and then you can play Game Boy games on your TV or on stream. <laughs> uh, game. Gam. Gam. Come on. Oh, what's... Oh, there we go. Good. Uh, yeah, so I'm one step closer to being able to stream the OG Pokemon series, which is fantastic because it's the, I mean, it's the best ones. The Gen 1 is the best Gen. Uh, you think your neighbor had one of those when you were a kid. Fantastic stuff. I never, it was one of those things, we never had it. It was far too expensive at the time. And it was, it, this was one of those luxury items that you just never got, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, oh, bag's full. But it was one of those things that um, I've been on the lookout for a while. Oh dear. Uh, that was my wife. Um coming in to get the cat's dish, but she didn't want to interrupt. So she was like like right. sat outside the room, sort of like, Can I have the cat's dish? <laughs> um what was I saying? Yeah, so uh it, I never never got one, never got a, a super Game Boy. It was always really nice to have. Like it would have been lovely to be able to play Game Boy games. Nowadays, I don't have any Game Boy games. But back then, it would have been nice to have been able to play Game Boy games on something that didn't just last, like, two hours on four AA batteries. Um, especially, and you needed, like, an, a, a magnifying glass in order to see the screen properly and a backlight and a separate backlight and all this sort of stuff. Although, it, it, again, those were all things that I didn't own because they were, they were extra. They were extra monies, so. Oh, what? Come on. I'm starting to think that extra uh, large trash bag is a, a decent way to go, to be honest with you. Far out. He must go where his planet needs him. I'm retinas, Jesus. Oh, what's on our to-do list today? God, I've completely ignored it. Make some changes to the arcade lay machine layout. That's fine. Uh, empty 10 hoppers and place the cash in the safe. Hit 200 beats on Cyberdance. We could do that. We haven't even been in the arcade yet. But what I'd really like to do, weirdly, after after playing um, Smith Smith's the Pokemon Black Edition, I'd really like to play the original Pokemon. 
I, this, which is mental because I hated that video. I hated making it. I hated how long it took, and I, I hate how rubbish it's done. But I enjoyed the game, if that makes sense. And I weirdly enjoyed playing um, Pokemon again, even though I did have to play through most of Gen One Pokemon uh, in order to make that video. Please go watch that video, like and share it, because um, I put hours of my life into it. Anyway, uh, yeah. I realised that I actually would like to play uh, Gen 1 Pokemon again, which is bizarre. And what better place to play it than on something like the Retro Gamer Nerd YouTube channel, um, which is the YouTube channel specifically for retro gaming. It doesn't have any content yet, but soon, soon it will do. Oh, hello. Something's finished. Washing done, washing done. I think I said this last time, but I don't I don't actually think I've ever used Oh well, no, that's not true. I have used a laundrette recently. But that's to like if we've got something like a duvet that needs washing, I will take it to a laundrette rather than have it like dry cleaned. Well that actually that's not technically true. Most recently um I have taken a, a duvet to a laundrette. I know, I know. I'm doing well for myself. But I have taken a duvet to a laundry because one of our cats was really, really sick, and we were just like, I don't, I don't think it's gonna come out. Like <laughs> we, we were like, I don't want, I don't really want to deal with this as a thing. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna just pay somebody to do this. Um, and it was around the time we had guests coming over in a few days, and we were like, we should probably get this clean now. Um, so we, we opted for that. But uh, throw this in the trash. Yup. Good. Oh, I keep pulling my earphones again. Let's put that on there, actually. That's a bit better. Bodacious. Right, what else have we got to do? Oh, the toilet's clogged. Oh. We have to fight the toilet box. Oh, wow. This this has gotten worse. Let's try and find the sweet spot. And then do massive damage. There we go. Massive damage. This game is so dumb and I love it so much. <laughs> what is this random Scots person asking for extra arms? I keep feeling like I've got something on in the background. I don't. I swear to God. Uh, right, what, what am I even doing? Make some changes. Right, let's make some changes. Come here. What's this? Come, you. There we go. Sorted. Made a change. Got paid. Uh, what else have we got? We've got M10 cash offers, which we'll do. 200 beats in Cyberdance. Let's go. Oh, the washing's done. No. Guess it's oh, why is grown up life always trying to get in the way of gameplay? Oh, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, I have to use this one now. Why are you starting to use the lower ones like an absolute psycho? I don't understand at all. Right, where are the new games? Oh, here we go. Attack vector. What is this? Kapow! Oh, oh, oh! I oh, that was the wrong one. Well, that was a that was a solid start. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I see. It rotates. Pachoum. 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 Oh no. Ah, oh, screwed it. Nice explosion effect. Right, cool. Well, that's enough for that. Uh, what was the other one we got? It was this one, wasn't it? This was the uh, Summer of Sports. That was it. It has to be Wii Sports. It's got to be. Oh, uh, wow. I don't care about the drone anymore. Multi-sport. Multi-sport? That's not how that works. Is that like football with javelins? How do... Is this like a... Oh, it is. It's a track and field. Is this a 100 meter sprint by any chance? Yay! 100 meters in 12 seconds. Oh, to qualify, you need to get 11 seconds. Well, I screwed that, didn't I? That's because I spent two seconds wondering what on earth I was doing. Oh, I have to hurdle. How do I hurdle? How do how do hurdle? Oh, it's X. Of course. Oh, it's A, sorry. Of course it is. 
You got mail. Oh, I'm not very good at hurdles. No, I just nearly jumped over the thing. Oh, stream elements. What's going on? Sorry, Catmus. I don't know what your message was. Stream elements has gone a bit rogue. Apologies for that. Wee. Sorry, Catmus. I apologize for the timeout. What did you say? Okay, well this is cool. I I like that one. I'm gonna I'm gonna explore that one a bit more. I'm now very, very concerned that it's oh my god, three o'clock in the afternoon and I've done any work. <laughs> uh right, pop that in there. Camus is just like, screw this guy. <laughs> Wouldn't blame you. <laughs> I'm so self deprecating on stream. I feel the secret cure to all the world diseases. Oh well, we shan't do that again. Yep, yeah, that, that'll learn you. <laughs> that, that'll learn you good and proper, mate. You've been you've been taken down by Big Twitch. That's what you've been done. You've been you've been well done there, mate. Oh, that's better. That's I'm not. I don't feel like I'm trying to deep throat my microphone anymore. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, I'm still not peeking. That's fine. Um, drying's done. Drying's done. Ah. Bosh, done. Right, what's the... What were we doing? Oh, Dance Dance Revolution, that's right. 500 beats, was it? Had to refresh the page after the time I ended too. Waited 10 seconds after it was supposed to... Ex I was supposed to expire. It just kept saying I couldn't talk for zero... I could talk in zero seconds. Well, that's because it's shit, isn't it? I'll sort that out. Apologies for that, friend. Uh, To-do list. 200 beats, not 500 beats. Two. Get on the machine. Right, we're going to do all three. Wait, how... Does it say how long it is? No, just beat per minute. Okay, we'll do this one. I don't think I've done this one yet. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's the... Just beats, not perfect beats. That's fine. So, Katmus, uh, quick question. What did you get up to this weekend? Also, Infinity, I, did I ask you what you got up to this weekend? I don't think I asked people what they got up to this weekend. I know I asked generally. But if you if people are willing to share more, that's fine. I will eventually, if I get an arbitrarily uh, random amount of... an arbitrarily chosen number of responses, show you what games I got when I went retro game hunting. I think you'll be pleasantly disappointed. Fucked it, I'm a failure. I've lost it. He's he's dead. If this was bomb defusal, I'd be dead. High score is still a good score, Mike. Oh yeah, we've done it. Cool. I'm glad it does that in the middle of the game and not doesn't wait until afterwards. Uh, we've got more stuff to do, haven't we? Uh, uh. Oh, so the original message was something like, Enact male sheep speed. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> well, enact male sheep ing speed. 
<laughs> oh, Carlos. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> uh, oh, well, not much. Got some stitches removed on Saturday and watched you. And then did not do much else except for uh, Snow Runner DLC and, and Netflix. What did you watch on Netflix? Not really sure why that was interesting. No, me either, to be honest with you. I need, a, I need to have a, a word with stream elements, to be honest with you. Alright, we've got loads of time now. We've got fucking tons. Um, empty ten hoppers. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So, well, we, I might actually get all of them done today. That's insane. What um, other challenges do we need to do? What's attack vector got as goals? Down 333 attack choppers. Never going to happen. Score 30. We could do that. Summon wood guy. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Let me just oh, I put my hands under my desk. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too fussed about all caps. I gotta be honest. I don't think I am anyway. Stream elements is probably just got a bit weird, unfortunately. Mostly catching up on disenchantment and starting the good place. Almost done with the former. Ooh, disenchantment. I don't think I've seen disenchantment. Um, my wife has probably watched it. We've seen a lot of the good place. I think we saw the first three seasons. I can't remember. It was two or three. Um, but it started to get like super dull. Like, it went from being interesting to being super dull, and then we just both lost. Oh, it was so close. Then we both just lost interest. <laughs> All cap seems appropriate for shouting these words. Yeah, that's fair enough. You've only watched four episodes of Good Place. It's good. It's, it's, it is a good series. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, chat, no spoilers if you've seen it. I'm not going to offer any spoilers. How many of these can I fire at a time? No, go away. It's really weird because it, it's tank controls. So now, turn right, I have to press left on my on my D-pad. Oh, I've got mail. I keep forgetting about that. Could do with a personal assistant, which is obviously why I have a PDA. But Do you know what the PDA reminds me of? Other than every PDA in the 90s. Does anybody remember the GameCom? Such a random console in the 90s. Noise. Main of the 90s, I gotta admit. It was, bef it was before my mum passed away. She passed away in 99, so. Ah, oh, 29! Get fucked. Absolutely get fucked. You can suck it, mate. You can absolutely do one. This is why I said this isn't gonna be a lo fi gaming episode. <laughs> Uh, right, how long have we got? Oh, drying's done. Good. Uh, Trying to watch F is for family again. Like the third season, we got bored and stopped for now. No, that's not either. I have this. Um, I'm not really into TV. It's it's got to be some even even things I know I'd be interested in, like The Last of Us, right? I know I'd like The Last of Us TV show, but I haven't sought it out to watch it. I've just I just don't think I enjoy TV as much as most people. I like some trash TV. Like I've got my own flavor of trash TV. It's like home improvement shows and things like that, and some documentaries, like weird documentaries, like. Um, hoarders and stuff like that like shows about hoarders uh mainly i think mainly because it makes me feel less messy um what are we doing what are we doing why am i here what are we doing uh what's the other one we got summer of sports what are the challenges on summers of sports complete all events in multi-event five times so these ones you don't have to throw a javelin over 10 minutes we can 100 percent get that these ones are lifelong achievements, so you don't have to get them all at once. Unless it specifically says get them all at once. Uh, javelin. How do javelin? How do we javelin? We waggle the stick. And then we do that. Yeah. Oh, 9.69. Yes. Yeah, that was rubbish. 
That was cack. Nailed it. Got it. All right, cool. Does that does that just update that then? Nope. Throw a javelin over ten meters. Okay. That, I'm assuming that was ten meters. I did it. Throw a javelin over ten meters. Javelin. Well, that's not quite 10 meters. That was a foul. Got it. That was over 10 meters. Why was that a foul? Oh, because I stepped over the line. Got it. I understand now. There we go. All right, so that works, right? Nope, apparently not. Maybe it's not registered. Yet. Your business is closing. Right. No, it's still not done it. That's rubbish. I'm sure I can do that from a standing start. I'm going to put you to the test. <laughs> uh, right, business is closing. Let's go into some hoppers. Wow, the laundry is not going to get finished at all. Unless I use our time, time exploit again. <laughs> I'll just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, ten. We do have more than ten machines. I actually, I wondered. Did you get me a javelin? I'll contest it. You're on. <laughs> Oh, fuck off, game. No, I don't want to... I just... No! I just want to empty the hopper. It's got my precious, precious money in it. It's got my baby's milk money in it. Come on. There we go. Got it. I think I got everything. Including... Did I get this? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I just can fucking crawl along the floor. This is such a dumb mini game. All I've got to do is just... Press right and press smash A. Got it. Sorted. No cash to deposit. Fantastic. Drying's done. Meow. Uh, well, who knows how heavy the javelin is. I'm fairly certain I could throw a 200 pound javelin. I'm fairly certain I couldn't throw a 200 pound javelin. Anymore. I was like, Jesus Christ, Catmus. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I train, I couldn't do that. Jesus. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's going to be a 200-pound That would be a very thick javel. Very, very thick javel. Uh, right, what time is it? It is half past 12. Let's go have a quick sneaky look at the PC while that finishes. Upgrades? We've got some upgrade money now. We've got 70. Oh, we can't afford anything. Oh. What's that there? Random human chatter. That's all it is. Um, uh, arcade imports we can't get yet. These we can get. And these we can afford as well. <gasps> Cyberdance. Let's get Cyberdance. I want to get Cyberdance. <laughs> so I've just spent all of the company money on Cyberdance. Oh, we had an email. I forgot about this. Capa Captain. To whoever it is who owns this sick arcade in town. Your place is dope. While I was cashing my auntie's... Well, sorry. Washing. Not cashing. Washing my auntie's sweater, I saw you had the vector attack cab. Man, those graphics are insane. Yeah. Um, what wasn't insane was your weak score, dude. <laughs> I sent that score back to the 80s. My score is 9. Try and beat that. Oh, I just did. I swung by early, and so you beat my score. Okay. Uh, they call me the captain because I'm the master of that cab. Smash that score of yours again. Beat 21. Okay. Can I respond to this? No, I can't. I can't respond to that either. Ashley. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, cool. So that was, that was me sending it earlier. Now, I wonder. It's still half past 12. I wonder if the thingies are really done now. The drying. Yeah, it's close. I'm not going to play Attack Vector now because I will run out of time. Oh, my God. My person will fall unconscious. So what 
We, yeah, we can't get any of these, can we? Can we open up? No, I can't open up this. Well, let's how we're going to play Minesweeper. I've never been very good at Minesweeper. Oh, I died. <laughs> I used to like the idea of playing Minesweeper, but I used to hate playing Minesweeper. Well, as I've just said. <laughs> That means there's not one there, right? And not one there. Yeah. I can't believe I'm playing Minesweeper. Good, it's exciting, kids, isn't it? Is that mascot talks? It might be. Oh, I can't bother with this. I used to hate Minesweeper as a kid. I love I love the idea. I think because it made it it made it feel like if I could play Minesweeper, people would think I was intelligent. I know, which is mental, right? But it was one of those things that I think I think I used to think. I think. Well, let's run around like a lunatic. No more rubbish. No more rubbish. No more rubbish. No more rubbish. We've literally got one second to wait for this. Go, 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 go. Right, let's get out of here. We got stuff to do. $70 in our pocket and probably that much to our name at the business. <laughs> we just spent it all on cyber dance. Oh, my dad's going to kill me. Meow. <laughs> Jesus. This is ginormous. That's, that is a thick cabinet. That's the sort of one I'm used to. Oh, can I, I can only place it there. That's the only place it goes. Alrighty. Oh, we got a new chat message. That's cool. This this phone, this watch does everything. Right, let's go double check this. Let's do story most. Oh, I want to go with that. Um, let's do story stuff first. Uh, Dylan. Ash, it's Dylan Freeburn. I dropped by the arcade but you look super busy. The place looks amazing. Just wanted to say hi, and I was sorry to hear about your mum. Dill, hi, wow. It's been, what, since senior year? How's it going? We get lore? We get actual story? That's fantastic. How's it going? Great. In fact, I recently founded a little software company. Just the five of us huddled in Terry's basement, but we're hoping to get an artist and a sound engineer soon. Excellent. Let me know if you ever make a cabinet. Brilliant. We're supporting the indie games industry. That's fantastic. Ha, you might be waiting a while. Actually, your arcade was kind of an inspiration. Very cool. Who doesn't love games? No, I mean, like, you proved someone someone from this joyless dead-end town could make something of themselves. I get that response whenever I go home. Um, that they could build something fun. And we're not all destined for the meat grinder. Thanks, Dale. That means a bit of help. Good luck with the business. Let me know if I can ever help out. Count on it. Excellent. Oh, good feels. Good feels. Right, we've got trash to pick up, haven't we? Um, I know. This, this looks amazing. Uh, we normally have trash to pick up. Yeah, there we go. No, I'm not playing King Fury. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's use our zoom. Oh, I can pick it up from a distance, though. So that's, that's kind of cool. I'm just not sure from, like... What distance I can pick it up from? Oh no, I can't. I can't pick it up from any any greater distance than I normally could. These glasses were a swindle. These are those reading glasses that you see are like um, uh, Tesco's checkout or something like that. They don't. Act, they're not actually reading glasses. They're just bits of glass in a frame. I always wonder who buys those reading glasses. Like I don't, I don't understand. Has ever anyone ever bought them and go, oh thank God, I finally have a pair of reading glasses that are perfect for me. Where'd you get them? Lidl. Bonk. Trash down. Gnarly. Gnarly. Yeah, that trash probably did smell a bit gnarly. I think that's been in there for a while. Uh, grab the laundry. Put the laundry in. People who want to look stereotypically smarter. I won't lie. When I first started wearing glasses, um, I 
enjoyed wearing them because, oh, so for context, I'm six foot four and I was like 350 pounds when I got my glasses, right? It was the assumption I was a big dumb dude. And suddenly I realized that people spoke to me differently because I wore glasses. And I didn't realize why. And after a number of years, I realized, ah, people are speaking to me differently because I'm wearing glasses. They think I'm smarter. So there is something to that. People want to look stereotypically smarter if they wear glasses. I think people stereotypically treat people differently um, if they wear glasses. Where's the gum? There it is. But yeah. People 50 plus that won't get their eyes tested because they would need to admit that they're blind. Half of my aunts and uncles, basically. I enjoyed wearing them too and allowed me to see them. Yeah, I mean, I think I was told when I was much younger, don't wear them too much because you'll become dependent on them. And I'm like, well, I can't see shit without them. Like, I genuinely, like, I can't see. I'm short-sighted. Which I Is it short-sighted when you can see close up but not far away? Collect more trash. It just said it was full. It literally, I swear to God, it just said it was full. Are you full now? Right, no, you're not full. Still, what's that other bit of trash that was? My father got his eyes tested, made new glasses, and was all proud that the glasses had, he had 10-10 vision, which equates to seeing well. Excellent. Short-sightedness is seeing well at short distances, but badly at long. Yeah, so I'm short-sighted. I don't know why I always forget that. It's just, it's one of those things that I always seem to forget. Um, probably because I, I rarely need to think about it, to be honest with you. But yeah, I cannot see at long distances, which is weird as well, because like if I'm laying in bed using my phone, um, no judgment here, I know we all do that. Uh, if I'm laying in bed using my phone, can I just have, can I zoom? Can I enhance? Oh, I can read the paper now at least. Um... Am I not allowed that bit of trash? Like, at all? Like, uh, can I can I just not have that bit of garbage? I just can't have that bit of garbage, clearly. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Good lord. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. It's gone. I've derailed that train of thought. Fuck. No more gum? No more gum? I'm stunned there's not more gum in the album. Right, that means we get to play on again. That's not how you play. Yeah, teach this fool a lesson. How long have we got? Uh, oh, that, well, that's empty. <laughs> Boop. Uh, oh, more laundry. Ugh, I'm using the laundry with a space. Oh, no. Uh, 19 seconds, we'll wait for this one. Oh, what's the to-do list today? Complete one level of Race Chaser, can do that. Run the 110 hurdles in under 18 seconds, can do that. Take 10 pieces of trash to the dumpster. I didn't even realize we'd done that. Fair. Let's just vibe, people. Someone beeping to pick me up outside, obviously. Ironically, my 10 out of 10 father fails at reading things in the supermarket incredibly. Like on a dog treats pack saying bits, he somehow read pizza <laughs> while looking for some yogurts for my mother with zero added sugars and such because of diabetes. He read a big, large zero on something. Had to tell him that the was almost certainly a D since the smaller letters before it had something to do with source of vitamin. That's brilliant. <laughs> I get I get a bit of shopping blindness, I'm not gonna lie. Like if if I'm getting uh zero percent yogurt in the shop or my wife's hospital zero percent yogurt, I'm just like okay. But they'll be like virtually fat free, fat free, zero percent fat, zero added fat, and I'm just like I'm a little confused. Like, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be getting. But now I've got, like, I have, like, photos and stuff to help. Right, let's see if we can do this. I have well, well practiced thumbs at this. Oh, no, we've got to do it in under 18 seconds. Come on, we can do this. Are we going to do this? Do we believe? Is he beginning to believe? 
Yeah, there we go. To-do list item done. Ta-da! Play one level of Racer Chaser. We can... No, I don't... I don't want to keep playing that. I do want to keep playing that because it's weird and I feel like it's some sort of like fourth wall thing. But I don't want to play this. Complete one... Is that complete one level or play a game? Complete one level of Racer Chaser. Th that actually might be harder than I think. Because completing this... I've never actually completed this level, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Because I'm a coward. I'm fairly certain Vitamin Zero doesn't exist, but I'm not a doctor. You get it from Unobtainium. I still can't believe someone read Unobtainium as a fucking element and was like, yeah, well, that makes sense. Let's go, let's go with that. Unobtainium, I will, I will die on this hill, is the name of an element you give when you write your draft and you can't think of a decent name, right? Anyone who's ever written a story at length has has made something, you know, John Protagonist or <laughs> Harry Antagonist or something like that. Right, let's play this one. Insert coin. Uh, we're going to go with the fastest one. <laughs> Off of far different nature victory party. What? Racer Chaser has broken down. Well, Racer Chaser can fucking wait, can't it? That's because I've just broken it. Quick, what's the name of the woman in Fair Effect? Because she's dancing in the background. Madam? Madam, this is a laundrette. <laughs> Do you mind? Yeah, the, the lady with the black hair. Her face looks like the same as this the lady's face. You can tell I'm happily married, because there's a gyrating, pixelated woman in front of me, and I'm looking at her face. 13-year-old Mike would be ashamed. Something I kind of... Hey, yeah, that sounds, <laughs> sounds legit. <laughs> I'm not going to fact-check that. You could have said any female name, and I would have... Okay, so that's, yeah, sounds all right. Doris, yeah, it sounds, sounds, sounds all right. <laughs> It's the uh, protagonist of uh, Fair Effect called Dolores. <laughs> yeah, that sounds, sounds, sounds okay. I, uh, I'm not going to check. Wait, do I have Fair Effect? Right, you have to wait. Ben. You have to all shut up a second and bear with me. i got to go check if I've got Fair Effect. I fucking do. I do have it. Are you kidding me? I've got the bastard right here. <laughs> this is what happens when I, I'm given grown-up money and poor self-control. I just end up buying games and then forgetting I've got them. It's got some someone else's receipt in it. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't say. Come on, give me the blurb. A familiar place in another time. Three self-motivated and ruthless mercenaries conspire to track down a young runaway and ransom her off to her father, Mr. Lam, the most powerful triad leader in Hong Kong. What begins as a simple extortion mission unfolds into a lesson of survival at the highest level, drawing you into a mystical web of adventure from Hong Kong to hell. Fluid gameplay allows an epic storyline to unravel into an original cinematic adventure and motion FX trademark technology is featured for the first time ever, creating the most dynamic and alive worlds I've ever seen on PlayStation. Simple uh, Fear Effect trademark is a blend of characters, puzzles, plots and twists resulting in a truly addictive cinematic experience. They one ten out of ten from PlayStation Magazine. Is that PlayStation Magazine? PlayStation Plus. The magazine PlayStation Plus, which I'm certain Sony shut the fuck down when they made PlayStation Plus a service. Bet and I quote, better than the Matrix. Ten out of ten. Does it have an instruction manual? It doesn't have an instruction manual. No. No, we'll never know. We'll never know the name of Ladyface. We'll just 
We'll never know her real name or who she was. And we'll probably not care until I eventually play that on Retro Gaming Nerd. A simple extortion mission. What kind of business are they running? Extortion? <laughs> Criminal. That's what kind of business they're running. What sort of questions are? Right, I'll talk about it. We've got to beat 21, right? Even though we've already beat 21. And that little twerp can jump in a river. Come on. Wait, hang on. Was this... Attack vector. Was this a goal? Yeah, a score 30 was a goal. Not a daily. Gotta do my dailies. Oh, no. That's just made that a lot more grindy than I wanted it to. Get your hand out of the way. <laughs> so how are you playing with both hands and not and then doing that? I think I explained that in the last stream actually. That's their that's their secret watch hand. I knew you you are gonna get me killed, Cassio. Got it. Right. Cool. Third hand. See, when I shut my face, I am actually pretty decent at video games. Uh, not gonna lie, all those helicopters should be ashamed of being taken down by a single tank. A single tank that can't shoot up. Like, all they've got to do is just be directly above the tank. <laughs> and then the tank is... Alright, let's get this out. I love the fact that um, a certain thought has cropped up in my brain recently. Oh, that's got a lot of voice over. Uh, what time of day is it? Oh, it's only like half past six. Um, that I've I've just split all my content into very specific niches for YouTube, including but not limited to lo-fi gaming, uh, horror games, and retro games. And then I immediately get obsessed with this sim, <laughs> with this sim game that that doesn't fit into any of those buckets at all. But there's a few of us here, right? We're enjoying this. We're having a good time. You're earning mana. Why? Like, these are the channel points. You're earning mana that you can spend on stuff. There's new. There's a, a, a wealth of new things you can spend channel points on. Just don't use hydrate because I haven't got a drink on me. So. Oh, I should make one. I should make a cheap one called Do the Thing, and be like, someone remind me to do the thing, and then it'll be like, so and so uh, redeemed Do the Thing. Like, oh, oh god, yeah, I gotta do that thing. Right, what's the what's this washing? Got it. Why is that not on the disc on the the thing? This jukebox, this ginormous Bluetooth speaker. Uh, right, what else are we gonna do? today. What, what have we got to do? Complete one level of race. That's probably not getting it done. I can have a go, but it's probably... Oh, I've, it's broken, isn't it? That's it. We've got to swipe the bugs off. We've got to do software testing. Did you know this is where the term software bug comes from? As someone who spent nearly 10 years in software testing, I have been bored to tears with that anecdote so many times at conferences. Did you know why it's called a software... Yes! Jeff, I know why it's called a software bug. I'm aware of the story. I'm aware of the, ane the unproven anecdote. Ah, fucked it. Try that again. Whee! This criminal's on fire. This game's got a bit of a thing for tanks, hasn't it? Tank to tank, tank to tank. I should look at my minimap more than the actual map. The actual map is rubbish. It doesn't give me any... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm probably dead. Oh, no, Pinky's there. Ah. I'm proving if you recall correctly, she kept the flattened bug in her diary log. Oh, well, then it would colour me stupid. I didn't know that. Ah, 
However, that makes you a massive nerd. I'm just gonna say. No one wants to admit it, Gamus, but that makes you a massive nerd. Oh, piss. <laughs> To be fair, it could have been a different book. Who knows? Don't back out of it now. You're going to commit to that. You need to commit to that. More stuff. Stuff is done. <laughs> I didn't think that was ready then. I thought that still had 10 seconds left and I clicked on it accidentally. Use the top dryers, not the bottom dryers. The bottom dryers are for scum. Top dryers are where it's at. It's not laundry mats. That's the law of the laundry mat. And you know this being a laundry, a laundry mat kingpin right now. Hey, I never said I was good. Good laundry rack kingpin. I just said I was laundry rack kingpin. Uh, I've only got 25 seconds. What time of day is it? It is... Oh, good. That's, that's going to be our last one. I think that's how it works anyway, because it says here, last wash at 9pm. So I think that's going to be the last time we, we, we see that. So could we potentially have, like, a love interest in this game, do you think? Come on, there we go. This error was caused by a lion in the computer. Here's the skin of the lion I killed with my bare hands. Don't ask questions. Uh, is the toilet clean? Yes, the toilet's clean. Good. I mean, I know it does say that, but sometimes I'll go in there and it will be... There's gum on the vending machine, you fucking animals. Absolute animals. I feel sick because of that now. Uh, what else can we do? It is... Oh, God, mate. What is wrong with your face? Um, fuck it. I, I'm obsessed with this game. Can I not? Oh, I can just wiggle the stick. I can just wiggle the stick. Track and field style. This looks suspect, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just wiggling my stick. Ag. Is there a proper place for people to stick their discarded gum to? Yes, the fucking bin. <laughs> That's exactly where you're supposed to discard your gum. In the bin. <laughs> you monsters. There is also bins in the UK. I don't know if this is an international thing. There's bins in the UK with gum, like receptacles on them. So you can you can actually stick gum on a bin. Oh, business is closing. Right, I'm just going to let my guy... I feel everyone whoa. I feel everyone the business is closing it is 11 I'm going to enter the hoppers we're not going to make any more money now hopper hopper I don't even know her one day that joke will, not, will no longer be funny and I won't say it but <laughs> I need to I need to add a Quote, but I keep forgetting to add a quote bar. Hello, Gretchen Results. How are you doing, friend? I keep forgetting to add a quote bar. I've added, like, new a new music command. I've added new emotes recently. I've added loads of stuff. I've even added, right, if there's ever anyone who comes in and, like, tries to spread a bit of hate or anything like that, I've even added a vibes command, um, which just plasters a wall of emotes so that it's no longer visible, right? I've even done that. Have I done a quote bar? Have I fuck? <laughs> the washing's done. Yeah, that's it. So, so basically, uh, and yes, I mean, hand, not arm. I'm not going to stretch my arm for that. Fair. I, uh, how much money have we got? We've got 1,400. Can we afford... That other, no, Woodgow Junior. Woodgow Junior is sorry. Woodgow Junior is sixteen ninety nine. Championship DOS is seventeen fifty. I think they're the only ones we've got left, aren't they? Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Face. Uh, we can't get any more of those. I think if we exit out of this and have a look at the blueprint, we've got one big spot and one little spot left. So that's going to be for these ones, isn't it? That's gonna be that's gonna be the big one. That's gonna be the little one. I'm assuming. 
You rebuilt your PC after your motherboard died. <gasps> no. Oh, that's awful. I'm just looking at my motherboard now, and I'm like, that's a, that's a big single point of failure for me. Like, everything just being on one PC at the minute. Because I stream and game on the same PC. Because I, I went through the, the process of thinking, well, I'll get a, a dual PC setup. Um, don't recommend ASRock. I think, I think that's Gigabyte. I think, anyway. I think I've always had Gigabyte ones, to be fair. And only, only because of a power surge once did one of my um, things explode. But that was a kind of chain of events from a, a very janky made machine. It was a machine I didn't make. Um, humble brag, I was given it. Uh, but it was a machine I didn't make. And um, wait, have we done everything? Yeah, well, it's too late now. Um, yeah, it basically, when I was doing the Godcast, I had a power surge. And thank God I was doing the Godcast at the time because I was earning money to do it. And they, uh, my PC died and it fried the motherboard and the graphics card. So I had to then very quickly make a PC out of parts I could get from from like curries. Like I had to go to an actual shop and get these things, get these bits in order to do this. Like the day before another broadcast. Asrock is the smaller low end brand of Asus, as so to speak. Well I mean you expect if it's a known brand, you expect it to last. Do you know what I mean? Or you expect it to be pretty decent. Right, that's ended, but that's definitely not I'm a hundred percent not gonna get a, a thing with this. I'm surprised I don't have to refund the money if like I have to if I accidentally keep their laundry overnight. Uh did we not buy a thing? Oh no, we didn't buy anything, did we? Pair of trendy glasses. Okay, um, so we've got £100. I don't know if we can do anything with the uh, pounds at the minute. What's to, to, to do? Let's play blockchain for five minutes. We can do that. Empty ten hoppers. That'll be fine. Play racer chaser for five minutes. This is all dead easy stuff. Uh, yeah, so I literally had to go and... I think I ended up going from a... A, a ten-something graphics card to two 550s uh in sli because i was i was also streaming games at the time and i'm like well i need i need to spend money in order to make this a thing and i need to fix it now and then it was around that time i mean i had very poor decision making skills then anyway but i um it was around that time i stopped doing the godcast and i left the gog stream team as well so oh damn it. but uh yeah that never got that never got fixed and then that just got stripped down for parts and sold separately when um Hey, Dancy Suit. Ass rock, am I right? You talking about poo? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I, when we moved house, I just stripped it all down and was like, I don't want something the size of a mini fridge taking up space in the house and also my brain. Because I was constantly like, oh, I need to upgrade this, I need to change this, I need to do the other, I need to sort this out. And now, fortunately, touch wood, uh, whatever. I um, don't need to do all that because I approach things differently. Very hard poo. This is, this is the content we come here for. Um, this is this is what you pay your admission fee for, people. Uh, poo talk. Uh, yeah, so even stuff like storage, file storage and security and stuff like that, I was constantly thinking to myself, like, oh, God, I got all this out on the PC and that on the PC. And then I got rid of it, and I'm like, wow, that's... Really, really quite nice. It was, um, I, I didn't worry about that at all. And now, because I think of things differently, thank you, therapy, um, I just approach things with a different mindset. And I thought to myself most recently, and this is probably the most boring con topic of conversation I can think of, but sorry, um, if I'm storing my video files somewhere, where are they stored? How do I... Where are they stored? How do I want to access them? How often do I want to access them? What does this look like? So I then just... I, I bought bits and pieces to make that... I can't grab the pissing paper um, to make it a thing. I can't even zoom in on it. Cube-headed zombie horde overruns Midwest. Well, we're dead now, aren't we? Is it you lot? Zombie! Not a zombie. Zombie! Not a zombie. Bigs... Oh, they're gone. 
Those errand socks make me wonder if it's trash or misplaced laundry. It makes me wonder where the hell they come from. Like, they're all here overnight. Like, my wife did make a very good point, though. Um, this place, we don't, we don't lock the doors. <laughs> so, God knows what. We don't lock the doors and we leave at two. So, clearly, clubs kick out and uh, people just come here and do whatever they want. Young people flinging their socks around, <laughs> messing up, sticking their gum on my sink, flinging their socks in places they shouldn't be. You know what young young boys are like, wanging their socks everywhere. Um, is there any more? There we go. Have we got any more rubbish? It's in the weirdest places sometimes as well. I swear you're innocent. No, you're not, Kenneth. Those darn, not sure what this generation is called. No, it's not. It's Gen Z now, isn't it? Is it not Gen Z? Because I'm a millennial, technically. I know, right? Filthy millennials. I'm a millennial. That explains a lot. That explains a great, great deal. There's Gen Z. There's Gen X as well. Um, that's all I know. Right, what, what are we doing? Uh, play blockchain for five minutes. Let's go play blockchain for five minutes. Pow. Until this laundry's done. We gotta play this. Uh, empathy is broken down. Oh, fuck. Better go and fix that now. Go. Fix that. It's a bog haunch. This. Mini games. Actually, not that dumb. I gotta be honest. I quite like the fact that I'm holding the, the thing out of it. The circuit board. Circuit boards and arcades just fascinate me. Um, we don't need to be any good at this. We just need to do it for five minutes. Oh, God damn. And it's accumulative as well. So, June 986. Camus, we're nearly the same age. You're so old. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. Gen Z or, Bo or Zuma and Boomer as well. There's, there's another one. The only good bug is a dead bug. <laughs> um... That door appears to have changed colour overnight. That's weird. Uh, what was I doing? This blockchain. That was it. Um, something. Not sure what the name or span of the various categories. I think they change periodically. I'm not 100% sure anyone really knows. Uh, let's put that seven here. I'm not gonna... Fuck it. Pow! That almost looked planned then. Gen Z suggests uh, X and Y. I've heard of Generation X. I can't really recall hearing of Generation Y. They are pretty meaningless labels. I gotta admit, they're just every generation has its own its own um, tag. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure how many people made up the name Millennials so they can moan about Millennials. Yeah. Or like Boomers because they were called Baby Boomers, weren't they? Because they had a, a lot of babies. Right, let's go do that. Uh, that's still got some time left. Oh, I'm, I'm well early for this. Gen Y are millennials. Oh, I see. Uh, that's finished laundry. We got that's finished now. Good. What? What? Uh, hang on. 23 seconds. Wow, oh, we can play this 23 seconds. Until, I'm, until my watch beeps, anyway. I'm doing nothing in regards to... There's no point in me doing anything in regards to actual scoring points here. Any points you see scored are purely coincidental. Because I'm not doing nothing that means I'm earning points. Uh, just because we're only playing for a few seconds. And it doesn't stack, it doesn't save or anything like that, so... Yep, cheers, thank you. Good, got it. That's an extra few seconds on that one. Meowm, this watch is done. Like, I find it interesting. I find uh, the different generation labels interesting, but I definitely don't. I don't. I certainly don't judge people because of their generational label or anything like that. Do you have a butt like a dumpster? Did that advert just say? <laughs> I don't know if anybody else can hear that. Uh, according to Wikipedia, Gen Z is mid to late 90s to early 2010s. Uh, X is 1965 to 1980. 
Alpha, never heard of it, uh, is early 2000s to mid 2020s. Oh my god. I remember, I remember when people used to be shocked because people were born after the year 2000. They're uh, like, 2000 and, and like, there's an and. And like, yep, that's, that's kind of how time works. But that's okay, being, I'm, I'm happy being the oldest man on Twitch. It's absolutely fine. It's a young man's game now. The problem is it's always been a young man's game. So... And I, when I was a young man, I didn't know I wanted to do it. Well, I did know I wanted to do it. I just didn't have the, the uh, drive or the self-belief. And I like to think that I make more refined content for a more refined, mature audience that's similar to me, which is why we always talk about boo. <laughs> and we make lewd innuendos. In your endo, I think you'll find. <laughs> I think I might be sleep deprived. <laughs> I'm not sure. Sweet sign off, this is my authentic self. Yes, yes, twiddle mustache. <laughs> Swirls Fanta in a brand new glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone, you lost me. <laughs> I'm just I'm just pleased with myself at that one. <laughs> washing. The washing's done. How long have we been playing that game for? Oh, nearly nearly time. Nearly time. What time is it in game? Oh, it's only like quarter five. I say it's only quarter quarter five. This is kinda like real life. Like all of a sudden it'll go from like four Work hours are the longest. <laughs> we'll go from like 4 p.m. to like 9 p.m. like mega quick in like the space of 30 seconds. All right, that's got 18 seconds left, and that's got over a minute. That's got over a minute. So we're gonna wait for this. Time flies when you're doing laundry. Time does not fly when you're doing laundry. Time drags glacially when you're doing laundry. I don't know how you're doing your laundry. Maybe you could give us some hints and tips, but time does not fly when you're doing laundry. And you're talking to someone who has made it part of their core personality to enjoy housework. So, definitely, I mean, I'm clearly doing something wrong. A four. A seven. A two. Bless you. <laughs> Another two. Bless you again. Time spins when you're doing laundry. Dotsy suit. You know, when you're right, you're right. Wa bam! Give it to you. Use a stolen DMV password to hack into the FBI and make your way into the file's most secret encryption. Something, something, hacker, Hollywood hackathon, something, something. Ooh, the Matrix. Hack the planet, etc., etc. Wow, maybe I really overthink this when I play this, because I am not thinking about this in the slightest. And I'm just, I am steaming through this. How long have we played this for? Oh my god, I have to, it has to be after. Right, how long have I played this for? 255, only 50 seconds. I don't know how long the laundry has. That has 14 seconds, and that has 1 minute 20. Oh, that's just magically appeared, lovely. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't put my lights on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, you can see how shiny my skull is. Let's turn that down, actually. That's actually really super bright. Grab the laundry. <laughs> I just completely forgot. I knew I forgot to do something. I knew I would forget to do a thing. Now I don't have a green screen at the minute. I can show you all the different colors these lights can go. Oh, apparently I can't. There we go. Red for danger. Green for okay, <laughs> blue, and all of the other colours of the spectral rainbow, including red, green, and blue. Uh, is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. Good. Um, um, what am I doing? I'm going to play the game. Am I going to play the game? 
30 seconds. Oh, you do it for 30 seconds. I hate some entertainment media like CSI due to popularizing the idea of magically enhancing images. <laughs> it's not, yeah, I like, I hate that too. Uh, the clients expect us to be able to actually make software that does that magic. I hate that. I hate it when like we watch like Criminal Minds and stuff like that, and like, oh, I'm just, I'm just enhancing the image. I'm like, not enhancing the image. That's not a thing. You're not clearing it up. There's as many pixels there as there are pixels in the image. You're not taking a VHS fucking security footage and making it high def. That's not a thing, people. Like, not not at the budget that you're working at, anyway. Not without going to, uh, like, using uh, AI methods and nearest neighbor guesswork, essentially, that's been trained on thousands and thousands of hours already and then maybe maybe you'll be able to do something slightly silly but you're not going to get a clear image you're just basically going to get like if you ask ai artist dali to do you some cctv footage of faceless people have we done this yet has this been 50 seconds yes 50 seconds fantastic good lord Yeah, exactly. On average, it's a one-way operation. But, like, I mean, necessarily, like, Sharian's right. Not on any budget. I agree with that, but I also disagree with that because I've done, um, uh, oh, God, what's, uh, computer vision. That's it. I've done computer vision. Um, and there are ways of doing it, but it is not easy. And it is it's certainly not, uh, to the level that you see in movies. Like, that's, that is fantasy. But there are ways of, um, like, guessing the pixels between different pixels uh, to a high degree of accuracy, but only a high degree of accuracy on uh, uh, supervised data. So this is, uh, sorry if this is going on a tangent, but if you've got supervised data, then you know what the outcome is going to be because you know what that data result is going to be. So, for example, if I have a red image um, that's got holes in it and I say, can you fill this with what you believe to be this uh, highly trained um, AI algorithm, I'll get onto that in a minute, you believe to be uh, the missing pixels, and it fills them in with red. If I know that the missing pixels should be red, then I know it's right, right? But if I, the, the thing is, then you have unsupervised data, you have unsupervised learning, where is you just trust that this algorithm, again, again I'll get onto that in a second, is going to do the right job because you have nothing to compare it to. You don't know if it's done the right job. Now, statistically speaking, you can make a guess if it's numerical or if it's statistics in nature or statistical in nature, then you can have best guess, which is naive Bayes, basically, best guess. Um, you can use that to extrapolate and then infer that it is doing the right thing but with images completely different matter and very 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 tiny uh sliver of usability there like you'd never be able to take a um a grainy cctv image like they do on tv and clean it up like using a, any level of ai um, and get an accurate picture of whoever that person is it might be able to guess but again using the algorithm which i'm going to get onto now it will guess based on the data it has been trained on so for example if you gave it a nondescript image a grainy image of a caucasian male it might be able to guess based on the hair color and the approximate age if it takes that into account which it won't but if it would take that into account what that person's face would look like but if it's only been trained on that and you give it someone of a different cultural heritage or uh, upbringing or anything like that or minority uh, a different race then it's not going to know it's, it's basically going to have someone of a different race with a middle-aged white guy's face if that's the the um data set that it's been trained on which is why algorithms are only as good and i will down this hill algorithms are only as good as the people who actually put the data into them and 90 percent of the time it's one demographic of people Oh, that almost sounded. That almost made me sound smart, didn't it? Um, hallucination is a real approach. Wait, what? 
And also less reliable outputs. I completely ignore chat, I'm sorry. Uh, like, that output is great if all you want to do is pictures look good and believable. Yeah, exactly. That's something they can do quite well. Yeah, absolutely. If you want it to look believable, yes. If you want it to be accurate, totally different story. But when you want accurate information about what's in front of the camera, forget it. Any of those AI enhancements can not like, No, absolutely. Only unless you know uh exactly what it should look like and you train it to make it look like that at which point you gain you get into the realm of overtraining now overtraining a model is basically when you train something so well that if you train a computer to put a square peg in a square hole and it does it perfectly every single time and then you give it a round peg it will explode because it's never seen it that's overtraining you've trained it so well to do task a that it can't move on to task b what you want to do is you want to train it just enough so that it's not dumb enough not to do task a but not smart enough that it only knows how to do task a that's uh, machine learning in uh, stupid mic speak. <laughs> if you already know what it should look like, you don't need a recreation of it, though. That's true. Yeah, exactly. But if you're training it, I suppose the thing there is if you're training it to then do things that you don't know what it looks like. For example, handwriting analysis is a good one. Handwriting analysis is one I've done a couple of times. If you train it to learn handwriting, if you train an algorithm to learn handwriting and then you train it to learn what handwriting looks like or what numbers look like specifically you can then get it to recognize so this is how um uh bank uh, when you go and do a when you go and deposit a check in a bank this is how it does it it reads the letters um it reads the letters and numbers like a human being doesn't doesn't check that check unless it's um like a really messy really messy handwriting but basically it would uh scan it and uh, computer vision would basically look at um, the numbers that have been written down and it would say right that's a one that's a six that's a two and there's a degree of accuracy there uh, which is called the confidence scale right and the confidence scale would basically say based on my training I know that this is a two right but if it doesn't know that oh god what time of day is it it's 140 if it doesn't know what that is it would be a, an exception and it would go nope need a human being to do that and that's how automatic check deposits happen it just reads the numbers that are written on it and the reason it can read the numbers that are written on it is because it's been taught what numbers are that's an overtraining thing and um, so it knows what a one is it knows what a two is that sort of thing but in order to do that um you're, you're giving it all that information so that it can make inferences based on new information that you don't have overseer of but it, essentially you'll always know what a one looks like you'll always know what a two looks like so there is a certain element of that i know it's 2 a.m i am going home uh, it's one of the hurdles of machine learning providing a huge data set that's not biased in any way doesn't exist um catmus and the less specified less specialized your machine system, learning system is the worse it will do as well that's very true that's very very true god this is a this is a good conversation to have i like this <laughs> score forty thousand in blockchain are you joking me are you are you high right throw the first load of laundry in um but yeah it's that's also one of the things i want to start doing um I'd like to start doing stuff like that on stream because I find it fascinating. I'd like to start, I'd like to start uh, exploring more about machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence and stuff like that because I already do it. I do it at work. Um, I've recently changed jobs from R and D to systems architecture, um, and I've, I really enjoyed the R and D side of things because I got to learn a lot about that sort of stuff. So I'm really, uh, I'm really quite excited to carry on learning about that. Right, so we've got enough money for Woodgall Junior and Championship Darts. Line terror. I, th this sounds well interesting. Um, okay, so we're going to go with that. Uh, the confidence is also limited since it usually provides the closest result, but not necessarily a good result when bad input is provided. If one draws a stick figure, the machine can try and fit it to the closest digit, but does not mean that it does. But that does not mean it is one. No, exactly. No, and that's where you have your margin of error, right? That's where you would say, no, that's definitely not a stick figure. Uh, that's definitely not a number, for example, which is why you would always have the human input. Um, I, st I, I don't understand why I can't grab this p p bloody newspaper. Um, so, like like I said, with um, automated check uh, depositing, the thing doesn't know what the numbers are. It just knows what the pretty shapes are that those lines make. Um, and the way it does that, it breaks up the, 
the little box you know when you when you write into a little box or on a line it'll break that up into a number of squares and basically it'll have a, a confidence score as to whether or not there is ink in each one of those tiny little pixel squares um and it will say yes or no so and then it will build in its head and i'm saying this like i'm explaining to a five-year-old i'm not this is just the best way i remember it uh it will build a, an image based on what it knows where it knows ink is in that little square but you think about that you think recognizing a five or recognizing a four uh that takes massive amounts of work can you imagine how much more processing power and how much more training it would need to recognize a human face <laughs> like not recognize but like extrapolate what a human face is supposed to look like it's bonkers it's exactly what Sharon said if you want it to if you want it to be, look good that's completely different from it being accurate completely different You need longer arms to grab it. I do. I need the poppy playtime uh, grabby grabby hands. God, that was such a bad game. Such a terrible game. I am at some point we are going to play poppy playtime chapter two, but I I hope to God that it's better than poppy playtime one. And one thing I learned from writing my bachelor's thesis: when you build a bad model for your self-learning agent. Um, then your results will suck hard, even if the learning algorithm is good. Yes, so self-learning is, um, that's when it starts to teach itself, right? Because you've got supervised, unsupervised, what's the other one? Self-supervised, so self-supervised learning, isn't it? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Like you said, you've done a bachelor's thesis on this, so I've not, I've just done on-the-job training. Bodacious. Ding dong. Yeah, because that's if if memory serves, um, that's the sort of mixture of the two, I believe. Anyway, which is something that one of my um, apprentices have done, uh, and I did. I uh, not mentored, managed them through that. Well, I suppose mentored because they hit a couple of roadblocks. But one of the cool things uh, one of my apprentices did was they made a game um, where they is a little bit like Snake. Right, do you remember Snake on Nokia? Um, but they had uh, an enemy, they had a, a, a protagonist, a character, and an enemy. And then basically, uh, you had to move in certain ways so that you wouldn't get got by the enemy. And then he, he uh, introduced a points system. So you earned points, and this is reinforcement learning for anyone who doesn't know, it's basically a, a risk and reward algorithm. Um, so exactly the same thing goes into uh, the. AI controlled remote control car that I've got um, that I've done a course on on LinkedIn Learning. If anyone cares about that, I will supply links, um, but you can find it on LinkedIn. If anyone really cares and wants to look at it for free, I can share it on LinkedIn and then you get it for free for a week. That's absolutely fine too. Um, I, yeah, he was using all um, oh, the toilets, but oh, the toilets still blocked. Whoops. Oh, there we go. That was the, that was the sweet spot. Um, yeah, he employed a points system. So basically, you got so many points if you avoided the enemy. You got so many points if you got one of the special power pills in the game. And it's a very simple grid system, but you also got so many points. You lost points if you got hit by an enemy. So it, it started to learn this risk and reward. And it realized on a number of places, I think it was like the thousandth place, or the seven thousandth place. I can't remember, it was a massive number. Um, for what it what it was, uh, it started to learn. Oh no, it was ten thousand. Sorry, that's where the term that's where the number one came into my head. Um, like the ten thousandth playthrough, it learned to sacrifice itself to get a point a power pill by jumping through an enemy. And we were both looking at each other like we didn't think it would do that. Like it's it's basically learning how to sacrifice itself for more money for more points. And like. It's really quite strange. That's a beautiful thing about this sort of work, um, or the sort of work I used to do, was there was so many instances like that where I was just like, that, I don't think that should have happened. That was interesting. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> um, oh, that one was unsupervised, but I had a couple of target states. It was either aiming for or avoiding to hit, uh, and it learned over multiple ones. Okay, so it was, super, it was unsupervised learning. Uh, think something like the Turing test to determine whether on whether the other entity is a human and something like chat GPT tried to fool the test into thinking it was human. 
it's also not a neural net one. Oh, neural nets confuse me. I gotta admit, I, I like them. I like the idea. They make me feel really smart when I'm using them, but they do confuse me. Uh, as on Bayesian agents. Uh, essentially, what I was trying to get the agent to learn was the rules of the the rules of the world it was operating under and they were pretty simple ah now curious is neuronal neuronal oh do you mean neural sorry neural um learning systems to play some real world behaviors yes it's fascinating having conversations like this i love it. Uh, it i very rarely get to have conversations like this because I don't understand loads about it, but I understand enough. I've, like, I've got working knowledge of stuff. Um, but I don't have a lot of academic knowledge of stuff. That's the thing. This is true. Yes, Sharon is German. I believe, anyway. I don't know if I've just made a massive social faux pas there. I don't even remember what we were going to do today. Oh, yeah, we're probably not going to do it. We can try the UFO assault, UFO? UFO assault one. Oh, well, if I didn't waste my ammunition. My, yeah, to be fair, my practice, my practical knowledge is probably out of date. It has been a while. I've been out of the game for a while. It's so funny that a few years ago, someone asked me to look at... Um, well, I saw on... Uh, basically, Hacker News, right? Which has a load of really weird and interesting news articles. I, I love browsing it occasionally when I'm at work. Um, they had uh, five or six years ago. Oh, GPT is the next best thing, the next big thing in natural language processing. And I'm like, well, that's interesting because I was using quite a lot of NLP stuff and natural language processing bits and pieces. Uh, and so I asked my my boss, I was like, do you think this is something we should get into? And literally, the term I was like, no, no one's going to use it. Get your hand out of the way. God damn it. Oh, we might get a thousand here. There we go. We got a thousand. To-do list complete. We got one to-do list item done, which is pretty good. Like, I say my academic knowledge. My academic knowledge is self-fueled. I never went to university or anything like that. The best I did was um, getting a business and ICT certificate in college. And as I've said, my all of these grades are far better than my GCSE, so my actual academic one is not fantastic. My actual academic career. It's one of the things I used to say to people when I used to give um, talks at schools and stuff like that uh, for work. I would say it doesn't really matter. Like you, Obviously, education is important. If I could go back and do it differently, I probably would. But it's not closing any doors for you. It might make it a bit more difficult to open them, but it's definitely not closing doors for you. Um, for a client, he now wants for a video editing app and to be able to take something like a landscape video and turn it portrait by filling in normally black or blurred bars with content generated by AI, which is why I'm learning some new tech uh, like those GANs I mentioned. Oh, I see. Turned out way too many people use it for way too many things GPT is unsuited for. Yeah. <laughs> I made the uh, title for the stream using ChatGPT. <laughs> I'm not joking. Not even a lie. <laughs> I, I feel like I need clickbaity sort of real, but clickbaity titles to get people interested in watching my stream. So I'm, I'm practicing with, and my videos as well. I'm practicing my videos in my streams. And I'm just like, uh, GAN's generative, uh, Advisable network. Ooh. An activity that mostly just increases your salary, starting salary. I've heard, yeah, I've heard that. I don't know how, yeah. It's a weird one, isn't it? Because I'm like, I 
And some people will say, oh, well, you're, you're doing this job and you, I don't need a degree because you're doing this job and you, know, you, you don't have a degree. I'm like, no, no, I'm doing this job in spite of not having a, good, a degree. Like, it certainly, I think, would definitely help open doors for you. I do know some people, and I really disagree with this, I do know some people who don't hire people unless they have degrees. And I'm like, well, that's dumb, isn't it? Like, that's really dumb. You know? Oh, we spent money today. Okay. Well, what uh, what game time is it? It's only six o'clock. What are we playing? Let's let's play a game. We we need to play more of Wood Gal's Adventure. I know that much. To me, the biggest value of my uni degree was teaching me how to think, uh, getting used to adapting to new situations. That's fair. I had um, a good job as a team leader for a bunch of software testers uh, many years ago, and that probably gave me the most. Oh, we need. Um, to beat the bat, don't we? Because they have gold stars. That probably gave me the most experience and the most sort of um, training for for different situations. Like I'd never, I'd never like managed people before, and I'd never been in like having what they call like difficult or courageous conversations and stuff like this. And it really helped me with that sort of um, that sort of uh, situation. He's great for changing the way you think. In Portuguese, we have an expression which isn't particularly family friendly. Roughly translated, it is unpooping yourself from the more crass version of the word pooping. <laughs> oh, hey, that bot works. Unfortunately, it's. Uh... <laughs> I say works. <laughs> Everyone knows what a subscription is on Twitch. Everyone who watches Twitch knows what a subscription is. I'm not going to force people to start subscribing. But if people do subscribe, it is massively appreciated because eventually I would like to do this more often, slash full or part time. Um, and it is it is one of those things I it's a, it's a necessary evil. It's not really an evil, is it? It's more one of those things where I'm like, I would like to do this thing I love and I really enjoy, but I'd like to do it for more people and preferably money. How have I not beat this thing already? Uh, like, I've been saying about math a lot, uh, that I learn it. Uh, you have to hit your head against the wall for long enough until something in your brain takes a little, breaks a little and suddenly stuff starts making sense. And then you reach the next wall and do it again. 100%. As someone who's self-taught self a lot of high-level technical architecture stuff, yes, can, can fully agree. Also, I never realized how um, crucial using something every single day would be to me learning something. So, like, I used to use, uh, what's it called, Docker. I used to use Docker a lot, to the point where I, I nearly became one of their ambassadors because I was using it that much for everything, basically. Um, and it's just, it's a containerization uh, service. For anyone who doesn't know, it basically makes very, very small versions of computers inside of computers, right? Um, but basically, it's... Uh, I had to learn it for a project, and I then used it every single day. Oh, I ran out of time. Curses. Um, I had to use it every single day for about a year and a half on a project. So it's always stuck in my brain. It, I, even to this day, if I even end up using it, I can quite quickly get those uh, commands and scripts out of my head somewhere because they're always crammed in there somewhere. But I never really realized how important it was to do you know, learn by repetition. Not just by doing, by repeating something over and over again. And once you reach that level where your brain starts to work a little different, it kind of affects your overall thinking of everything else as well. Uh, we'll just get, oh no, it's... Uh, no, we should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, okay, let's have a quick look at our... Oh, we've got some new games as well, haven't we? Is UFO something new? That's not new. Yeah, UFO Assault isn't new. Um, Zomba, are we getting the most money for our time? No, we're not at all. 285 is a decent is a decent amount. Uh, Woodgal's Adventure, I think we're getting the most out of that, but we'll revisit it. 457. 457 seems like 
Oh no, 490. Let's do that. I'm unscrupulous. This is this is where capitalism wins. 918. No, 918 is probably still the, the best one for that one. UFO assault. So this basically, just in case you're wondering, we're changing the difficulty and the price per play so we can get the most money out of it, basically. Uh, because all of them are quite popular. So they're all relatively popular. So it's it's not a case of people aren't going to want to um, to play them. So 318 is the best we can get there. 327, that's not bad. Oh, I've uh, messed that up. 327 might be our max. Yeah, 327 might be our max. So we're going to put that on there. And uh, somewhere of sports. 180 currently. 240 is our max. 247. 248. Cool. Let's go with that. Strike gold. 222. 248. 248. 248. Stack over for, I think, hey, 666. Oh, brilliant. 887. Wowzers. Ooh, 1098. Oh, boy. That's that's a lot of money. I'm going to... That doesn't make any difference to it whatsoever. Um, what was that? Space Race Simulator. 198. Any advance on 198? Any advance on 198? Nope. Nope. 198 is absolutely the best we're going to get. That's fine. I've literally played that once because it's super dull. Racer Chaser. We've played this quite a lot. 11... Oh my days. 1188. We have been doing ourselves out of numbers here, people. King Fury. 472. Oh, 480. Yeah, 480 is a good one. Uh, oh, the jukebox. <laughs> I see. I was like, why does that have a difficulty level? Because it's a jukebox. 576. What's that? 597. 597 is probably the best. Empathy. So that's weird because we've played a lot of empathy. Cyberdance. 472. 480. Yeah, 480 uh, is going to be our best, isn't it? Oh, I mean. Oh, have I not picked the right? Oh, there we go. Cyberdance, wait, oh, Cyberdance Euromix, that's what that was. Uh, 480 again. 472. 470, yeah, 480 is probably the best. Pew, blockchain. We played quite a lot of this recently. As in, we played an extra five minutes. So, 229. Mm, 229 is going to be our best, isn't it? That's a bit rubbish. Uh, 432. We clearly have favourites, obviously. Right, so that's all of them, like, done now, I think. Uh, and that actually pauses time as well, so that didn't, didn't have any impact on our time whatsoever. Um, okay. Attack Vector. What are the goals on Attack Vector? Score 30. Summon Wood Guy. I don't know how to summon Wood Guy. How do you summon Wood Guy? An Attack Vector. Is it just a button? Like, how do you attack vector? How to play? Shoot, shoot before the enemy. Okay. Shoot before the enemy shoots you. Got it. So let's just try, I guess. Let's see. Let's try a different strat. Oh! That was it. You just gotta keep shooting. There you go. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I knew it would be something like that. <laughs> right, so I think those goals, unless we down... Th oh, 330 total attack choppers. Okay, well, we can work towards that. Blockchain. Get a chain of nine. Wholly uncover three conspiracies. Uncover all conspiracies. Get a high score of 50,000. Get a high score of 100,000. Oh, what was our to-dos today? Guess going here for oh yeah no we, we we weren't doing that were we at all right arcade management cyber dance no cyber dance complete a song on cyber dance without missing a beat yeah uh, I like that 122 out of one it's such a broken interface uh, hit 1000 perfect beats and get a combo of 100 I mean we could maybe not right now but we could Cyber Dance Euro, get a combo of 75, and hit 500 perfect beats. Okay. Empathy, 
take a total of 10,000 steps. I'm surprised we're not closer to that, considering how much we've played. Um, hear 25 of your thoughts in-game. I don't know how. Oh, wait. Avoid being hit by rocks from unbelievers. Feel his feelings. Feel all their feelings. Empathize. Uh, jukebox goals. I don't think that's going to happen. King Fury goals. Get a score of 25,000. Get a chain of 30 and defeat 1,000 people. Race the chaser is really hard. Get a score of 10,000 and complete all three levels. Space Race Simulator. Oh, we were close to getting one on Space Race Simulator. Race for a total of 1,000 kilometers. Um, surely we've done some of that. And purchased all upgrades. Boost for eight seconds without stopping. Can, you can boost? Once purchased, you can spend nitro. Got it. Stack overflow. Get five thirteen times. Make it day fourteen. So just make it day fourteen. I don't think that's going to happen. Strike gold. Purchase all upgrades. Destroy five thousand blocks. Dig down to five hundred meters and pick up three hundred and thirty-three gold. Summer of sports. That I'm still annoyed that we didn't get that. Throw the javelin over 10 meters. I'm still annoyed we didn't get that. Knock over 25 hurdles. We can actually do some of those. Right. Uh, I'm just pausing time now, aren't I? I was waiting for stuff to finish, but I think I'm just pause. I've just paused time for no reason. How much? What time is it? Right. We're not going to gain any more money after 11, so we've got about 30 seconds. How much actual cash have we got? Not a lot. Oh, we've got 150 pounds sterling though, so what upgrades can we can we buy? Let's buy an upgrade. Uh 150 pounds sterling. What is the digital safe? Open the safe with ease. Uh, note. Always keep a post-it note of the safe's combo nearby. We are not responsible for forgotten combinations. <laughs> the art of meditation. Pick up less trash, clean the toilet less often, and find other people's go gross gum less frequently. Ah, nice. I still like the space and time one. I'm going to get the space and time one because I have a feeling it's going to slow down time. Time will now pass more slowly. Good. Boop. Which means... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really slow now. If I just uh, go on to upgrades... Yeah, that was really slow. I've just disabled that. It's now ticking away quite nicely. However, once it reaches that time, I wonder if it affects this, though. That would be very interesting to know. So let's get it to 11. Cool. So the business is closing. Basically, that means we're not going to gain any more money. No, it doesn't affect that. So you can see the two timers on the right-hand side are going at completely different speeds now. Whereas if I enable, if sorry, if I disable this, they go at the same speed. Oh, very nearly the same speed anyway. Right. Well, let's go into the hoppers. Oh, the washing's done. Oh, both washing is done. Cool. We empty the hoppers, then we can see how much money we've got. I don't know if we're going to have enough money. No, oh, I hate the lower dryers. I don't know why I hate the lower dryers either. Uh, oh, the dryer's done as well. Cool. Spin. Literally, spin. Uh, that dryer's done. Good. So we've just put two loads in and taken a load out, and then we're going to put it back, and then we're going to check the time and see how much time has passed. Because normally that would be like an hour or something. That's only 20 minutes. Uh, right. Spin it to me. You spin it to me. It all depends on what it is. Sometimes that would be the worst thing to do. Uh, but I like your, I like your uh, gumption, Darcy. Say. I'm surprised I can't take the hopper out of the vending machine. Oh, wait, I forgot to do the hockey machine. The hockey machine is like one of our biggest earners as well. I think you start with the hockey machine and like two other games. Hockey machine, Racer Chaser, and Wood Gals Adventure. Is what you start with. And I was awful at the other two. So I just played Air Hockey for ages. So it instantly became... Oh, no, stop doing that. 
instantly became the most popular one in the shop. And it was the first, I think it was the first one we got all of the, come on, got all of the uh, challenges on as well. Have I done both of those behind here? Yep. Yep. Good, so that's all of them, right? That's everything? Excellent. Not as much money as I anticipated. Weirdly, not as much money as I thought it would be. But still, more than enough time to, to empty everything and do everything. Which is pretty nice. Do, 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 do. Right, 1,300. We've got 1,700. So let's go on Arcade Mania. What? So we can get Wigal Jr., which we've done in 100%. Because I think that is our last space, which is there. I think. Maybe. I'm not sure what this red space is between Summer of Sports and the thingy. There's another big empty space here. So no, it's not our last one, is it? Not in the slightest. You currently what? Have no messages. Okay. I was like, I've never seen that before in my life. Wait, so there's supposed Oh, it's the darts, isn't it? And this one's going to be Line Terror that we're getting... Wait, are we not getting Line Terror tomorrow? Wow, well, we got to go. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I don't know why I've never noticed that before. Uh, what time is it? Wow, it's really not that late. This, this time space thing is freaking brilliant. I'm just going to run around like a lunatic. Uh, oh, I've got 30 seconds. Uh, do I have anything we can do in 30 seconds? No. Um, let's just play. Fuck it. <laughs> I, I love this game so much and I don't know why. Ow, I felt that. I'm going to have to reposition my hands because I need to rotate my stick. I just got to jiggle my stick a bit. Oh, the drying's done. I know, I'm not in control. Can I get to the mountains? That's the thing. Pain. <laughs> no, bye. <laughs> Trying's finished. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's still so quick. Oh, my days. <laughs> this is such a game changer. <laughs> oh, I'm already carrying washing. <laughs> da -da -da. Uh, right, I think that's everything. Let's go. We might get one more day in. One more day in if we don't start more conversations about machine learning. <laughs> <laughs> or any other technical subject <laughs> that I've sunk a lot of hours into. Be less interesting, chat. That's what I need. <laughs> line terror. Line terror's going. Oh, line terror's going there. Got it. So there should be another one as well. Speed this up. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. Ah, well, that looks amazing. So those are our last two. Other than Championship Darts. I think Championship Darts is the last one we need. Wait a minute. Did we have another chat message? Did I completely forget it? I think I might have completely forgot it. Now. Oh, I just need to move my foot a second. Sorry. My apologies. My apologies. And there we go. Lovely. Do, 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 do. Right. Immediately go and check out. Wait, what were we doing first? Did I not just say I was doing something? Oh, chat message. That was it. Did we not have another chat message that I, I wasn't sure? An email. There we go. Yo, Ash, you're a good soldier, but when it comes to shooting down choppers, I'm still the best. The conversation's getting wild. I managed 31, just. I mean, that, that noise is a gauntlet hitting the floor. What's line terror? Wait, hang on. How do you play line terror? Use L to move. Try to fill as much of the board as possible. Oh, it's this! I literally played this as a kid. Wow, that that noise is annoying. Yeah, so you just got you just got to fill the the thing. Ow, I got blown up. You sod. So if I just got to go there, then what? Well, I don't understand. Well, how do I? 
How do I stop getting dead? I can't go over this, can I? Oh yeah, I can. I just no, I can't. External. Oh, so that's an incentive, right? So that's a speed incentive. You've got to you've got to go a bit fast. All right, come on then. <laughs> Sucker. I have to fill 60% of this. Are you joking me? Have I stuck them there? Is that, oh no, I'm dead. Oh, I'm good. Oh no, I'm fine. I, th I think I've broken them. <laughs> Excellent. 43%. Boing. 54%. Suck it, stick man. Oh no, it's gonna get me. Curses. It's okay, I have multiple lives. It's fine. God, this music, th that tinky tinky sound is a bit much, isn't it? I only need two more percent, that's fine. The greed. There we go, goal completed. Level complete. What, where am I now? Oh, I'm here. There's three in me now. Whoop. She gives you tiny, tiny little block bits. Don't, don't hurt me. What, what is that? Oh, I see. It's like a fuse, weirdly. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna risk it. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, the washing's done. I gotta go. <laughs> I forgot I had a day job. <laughs> Genuinely forgot I had a day job. Uh, ah, however, how much time has passed? It's only half past nine. Wow. So that was a while, but not nearly as often as it would have been. That was quite cool. So that uh, upgrade that slows down time is really very useful. Very, very useful. Right. Oh, God. This wash is coming out of nowhere. It's just plopping out of the ether now. Is there more? No. Um, right. We've got to we gotta clean up. Uh, and this. And this. And this. And this. Oh, we're out. I got it. I, I got it. I'm full. Risk it for a biscuit. Right. Bloop, bloop. Bloop. More socks from the crazy sock party. Maybe they put on a lot of puppet shows overnight. Maybe it's like a puppet show there. Oh my god, the bag is full again. At least we get paid for it, so. Whoop. whoop -a. Nailed it. Incredible. Incredible. There, get my hands in these wherever I belong. Oh, gum. Boink. Hidden packages found. That's the total amount of gum I've plucked off of the units, by the way. Just in case anyone's wondering. Still can't pick up this bloody newspaper. I hate it. I hate it. Come on. Pick up the pick up the cup. It's right there. There we go. So I definitely haven't already filled my bag. Wow, the, the the detection... Oh, gum. The detection on the trash is a bit... It goes a bit downhill. The f oh. I appear to have forgotten how to play this game. There we go. The detection on this goes a bit downhill the further you go. Uh, More rubbish? Well, that's definitely rubbish. I just can't pick it up because of this laundry basket. Pick it up. There we go. Definitely can't pick up that newspaper anymore. That is a... I just, I just don't, I don't understand. Oh, wait. Oh, of course I have to be over here and it has to be on my left. Fantastic. We got the, the elusive newspaper, everyone. Good job. Good job, everyone. We all played our part in that. Did that say broken? No, it didn't. Is that full by any chance? It is. 
I would say the detection is a bit trashy. Oh, well done, Darth CC. Excellent punish. Excellent, excellent punish. I like excellent. it. See, that's how that's how your punish was just then. It was excellent. Boop. Right. Does anybody know any other games that are similar to this? Like games similar that where you you like do almost like a mundane job sim. Because I'm drawing a bit of a blank. And I know there are some, but I'm sure people will have played them more than me. So I'm interested to know what people, if anyone has any suggestions. It sounds like a ripoff of the Beastie Boys. Is that also finished? No, that's not finished. Okay, so I think all of that is clean. Because, like, I know things like Power Wash Simulator, Garden Simulator, that sort of thing. They're, they're all things. I'm I'm well aware of those. Um, but this isn't specifically a simulator title, although it has simulator elements in it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm interested to know if there's any others like this, where you're, like, running a business and doing a thing. And, yeah, that this sort of similar sort of vibe to this. But what else did we get? We were Woodgall Jr. Get out of the way, pain customer. How dare you? Woodgall Jr. How do you play Woodgall Jr.? Chop from either side. Oh, it's, it's this. Oh. <laughs> I bonked myself. Oh, I bonked myself again. What's the challenge on this? Wait, is what's hard to do with? Two songs in Cyber Mix Euro, Cyber Dance Euro Mix. Uh, play attack vector for five minutes. What would definitely be? And one level of race chaser. Never gonna happen. What's the thingy on this? Yep, goals. Bonko had 66 times. Get a high score of 111. Chop a total of 2,000 logs. I'm out. <laughs> uh, attack vector, however. How long do we have to play this for? Five minutes. We need to beat 31. Unfair advantage, maybe? These noises are wild. <laughs> Absolutely wild. Get your hand out of the way, fool. I know the washing's done. I put it on. God damn it. I, I blame my... I blame Cassio. Right. Do the laundry. Put it in. Then go do something. Do some attack vector. That's got a minute left. That's got a minute left. That's brand new. Brand new. The only dedicated, the only radio station dedicated to the fact that I don't starve. I like that guy. <laughs> oh, I feel like I need to move my hands. No, I screwed it. Let's play again. Move my hands and shut my face. Hey, nicely done, Sharon. Finished front mission. No curses. Right, let's go check our ma uh, laundry and mail. We got mail, didn't we? Hello? Captain, 
You're good to... Oh, yeah, I've read that one. Sam. Dear Arcade Only, I think you're the person whose high score I beat on Wugao Jr. I dig your arcade. It's the perfect place to chill while waiting for my dorm room sheets to wash and dry. I can see myself coming back there more frequently. With that official challenge... With that, I officially challenge you to beat me at Woodgal Jr. My current high score is 33. Haha, -ha, good luck. Kind regards, Samantha. Was this ever a thing? Like, you never... I don't... Why is it tank shooting at choppers, and why are the choppers trying to ram each other, ram it rather than firing missiles? I think we may be reading a little too much into this. <laughs> can't help, can't help but think we might be reading slightly too much into the lore behind um, whatever the fuck that game is called. <laughs> I cannot, genuinely cannot remember. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Um. But we've got another couple of minutes of gameplay left, I think, anyway. It's, yeah, it's 12 o'clock. Boop, pop that in there. I think this washing's done as well. The tank has all the missile supply. I think if we get out, it's clearly Battlefield. Clearly. Uh, how long have we played this for? No, that's the wrong one. We want Attack Vector, which is obviously the first one, even though they're not in... Oh, they are in alphabetical order! Oh, I've shut my mouth. Um, let's go for you, some wood guy, down choppers, that's not what we wanted, I wanted the to-do list. Right, so about halfway there, give or take. Hardly anyone knows how to fly choppers, let alone how to land them. <laughs> right, I need to be 31, and we need to play this for 5 minutes, or another 2 minutes-ish. Oh, get your hand out of the way, mate. I'm aware the drying's done, I put it on. That's my that's my problem in life. I shot too soon. Uh, how long have we been playing this for now? Oh god, it doesn't count until I leave it. That's the worst. Night four. Cool. Right, let's go and do the laundry. Uh, nope, nope. Yes. Uh, and many just jump out of the attack chopper whenever they're wanting to get and crash it into the ground. That's true. Battlefield do be like that. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. Dun, dun, dun. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, what else did we have to do today? We had complete one level issues. Two songs in Euromix. Where's Euromix? Euromix. Get out of the way, paying customer. How dare you? Ah, my favorite bit. Absolute worst, not a monster. I could do with knowing how long each song is. At least on actual rhythm action games, it tells you how long the song is. Now I can at least do the short songs, but. Do you know, one of the heights of uh, kind of sophistication for us growing up, and my sister will agree with this if she ever watches this. Um, is we used to have uh, DDR dance mats growing up for the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. They were awful, don't get me wrong, but whenever I see dance mats now, we were in a retro game shop a little while ago in York, I think. I can't quite remember, um, but they had buckets of DDR dance mats for PlayStation. I'm like, should I? Should I? I decided not to, obviously, because I have too much trash in the house already. Um, I have too many. That's one of the reasons I'm called Peripheral Mike. I have too many peripherals for my own good. 
Uh, and they're clogging up the loft. I need to go through them and get rid of a lot of stuff. I say get rid of, donate. Um, uh, I've forgotten how buttons work. Oh, I'm getting tired now. <laughs> Do you know, I've only had one coffee today. Uh, anyone who knows me will know that's a fucking mental thing for me to do. I'm normally like, I'm three or four coffees in by this point. Alright, is that a song done? Yep, yeah, excellent. A to-do list item is done. Fantastic. Uh, that wasn't two songs, but I'll take it. Definitely was not two songs. Right, so we, we also did some laundry stuff, didn't we? So many crap pilots in those games. Well, you don't need to be a good pilot if you're literally flying a missile, right? Like... I say this, I'm not opposed to it. Like, when I used to play Halo multiplayer, I would definitely crash my Banshee into people. Because if it if it missed them, then it was just a bad landing. And if it hit them and killed them, you were a legend. Right? You, no one screws around with you anymore. Oh, the drying is done. Uh, that one. Lovely. Da, da, da. Rank B, that's not bad. B for bad. Right, 31. Let's go. Come on. Imagine actually flying the thing and killing anything that moves. Yeah, true. There was always that moment, though. Like, normally when it was on fire or it was about to explode, you were like, well, I can use it as a missile. I don't think I ever got into a Banshee in Halo multiplayer with the sole purpose of using it as a Doom Javelin. I gotta admit. Damn it! Alright, that's not happening this time. That's my new Dark Souls boss. Alright, I'm going to have to head out of here. So what I'll do is I'll probably finish this day off stream um, and then save it so we'll be one day ahead when we when we go next time. Don't forget... I should pop myself on Big, Big Face. <laughs> literally, it's literally called Big Face. I wish it weren't, but it is. It's literally called Big Face. Pop myself on this. Pop some music on. Let's get some metal music up. Uh, maybe not blow people's eardrums off. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Right. So I'm going to call it a day. Oh my god. That got real loud real fast. Okay, so I'm going to call it a day. Um, I am... What am I next online? I have my screen schedule pinned to the wall. Uh... Oh, I'm on D&D tomorrow, aren't I? It's the 25th tomorrow, so you can check out if you want to watch, um... <laughs> my eardrums, no! Uh, if you want to watch myself and the other people from GOG uh, playing D&D, then you can do, you absolutely can do, on the twitch.tv forward slash GOG uh, com Twitch channel. Um, we are playing Ghost of Saltmarsh, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, we've also got some more games coming up next month. I have another stream coming up on Wednesday, because I am unavailable this coming Friday, Monday. So normal Friday, Monday streams aren't going to happen, but this coming Wednesday and next Wednesday are going to happen. So I'm going to be live 9 p.m. BST on the Godcom channel, and I'm going to be live normal time 6 or 9 on Wednesday, so the day after. Um, and then after that, we'll find out what's happening uh, next week as well. So that's going to be exciting. Right, I'm going to sort of raid out. I'm going to pop myself on. Thank you very much for joining. Um, and I will speak to you all next time. Stick around because we're going to go and raid somebody. I don't know who we're going to go raid yet, but we're going to go raid someone. So stick around. And bye for now.
Yeah, I've chosen Miss Pooh, who is going to be playing Elden Ring and dying profusely. So everyone ready up and we'll go raid. Can't miss you damn right, let's see the stream audio. 